Vile overview. The Foundation is not the only group with an interest and investment in the paranormal and metaphysical. There are many other groups in existence who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups of the Foundation, and some are trusted associates of the Foundation. In any case, it has been deemed necessary to create and distribute a brief on what agencies the Foundation knows about and our stance towards them. Alexeva University Overview Very little is known about Alexeva University or its motives. Evidence appears to suggest that the organization exists in some sort of alternate universe in which Latin and Greek cultures maintain dominance at least over the Western Hemisphere. Nothing to date is known about any other part of this world. All university-related objects have been found in the mid-southern United States, and more specifically in Tennessee, leading Foundation researchers to believe the university itself is located in that geographical area. Many objects associated with the university, which is not believed to have built the objects, are recovered during postal transit via an agency known as Tinchansimun Tumbai, and accompanied by relevant paperwork, which has helped shed light on the objects and place from which they came. To date, all that is known about the methods that transfer the objects is that technology uses principles similar to that of the Einstein-Rosen Bridge, a concept considered purely theoretical by contemporary science. A particular section of the university, known as the Department of Natural Philosophy, is considered responsible for the transferences, possibly without the knowledge or consent of the rest of the organization. Ambrose Restaurant Overview Ambrose Restaurant is a large-scale chain of fine dining eateries located in various public locations across Earth, along with several locations in anonymous or extra-dimensional locations of interest. These restaurants specialize in anonymous food and culinary practices, and vary widely in variation and style. Despite the scale of the Ambrose restaurants chain, they are generally non-hostile and will instead flee from threats directed towards them. Ambrose Restaurant is currently believed to be jointly owned by the persons of interest, Charles Ambrose and Marius, but due to lack of public appearances, this is unconfirmed. Notably, several groups of interest have engaged in relations with Ambrose Restaurant, including Marshall Carter and Dark Limited and Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting, though the extent with which they collaborate is unknown. As the Ambrose Restaurant's chain continues to expand beyond anonymous markets, any new locations are to be shut down and valuable information on Ambrose Restaurant saved. Anderson Robotics Overview Based in the Pacific Northwest, Anderson Robotics first came to the Foundation's attention in 2007 with the capture of SCP-1360, led by Vincent Anderson, and specializing in the sale of anomalous androids, robots, artificial intelligences, and cybernetics. Anderson Robotics has quickly gained a fair amount of traction in the realm of paratechnology. The group's small size, remarkable espionage capabilities, and surprisingly large resource base has made apprehension of any Anderson employee difficult, with only a handful of Anderson products currently in the hands of the Foundation. Arcadia Overview Defined by its highest highs and lowest lows, Arcadia was a drug fueled rampage through the video game industry. The occult fixation led to the exploitation and damnation of their customers. After the video game crash of 1983, Arcadia entered the era of decline from which they still have not recovered. 
Although it may not be the powerhouse it once was, the former members of Arcadia still live among the general population. The remnants of their empire can be found in thrift stores and at garage sales across America. They're still out there, snorting pentagrams of cocaine off joysticks to this day. Are we cool yet? Overview A collective of anomalous artists or an artist, members of Are We Cool Yet are capable of either obtaining or producing anomalous objects and entities and using them to create art installations. These installations are placed for maximum public exposure and have been fatal to bystanders. The phrase Are We Cool Yet is always present in some way. The Black Queen Overview Very little conclusive information has been recovered about the person of interest called the Black Queen. She claims the given name Alison Cho, the name of the daughter of researcher Dr. Beep Gears, and Beep Cho before Gears' recruitment by the Foundation. The Black Queen possesses unusual knowledge of Foundation structure and activities and contained anomalies. The reason for this unusual knowledge has yet to be conclusively identified, but appears to be gained partially through anomalous means, including the possibility of extra-universal information sources. She has repeatedly been able to breach Foundation security, utilizing this information in addition to classified anomalous means. Conflicting reports exist of the Black Queen's activities and motivations, likely due to multiple individuals or deliberate counterintelligence. Initial reports characterize her as malevolent, murderous, and destructive. Other reports characterize her as neutral or benevolent. All intelligence indicates her hostility towards the Foundation. There are reports of the Black Queen's involvement with most major groups of interest known to the Foundation along with several world governments. Unverified sources claim that she is the same individual as L.S. of the Serpent's Hand and that L.S. stands for Little Sister. The reason for this unusual close connection is possibly due to the Black Queen's use of the Wanderer's Library. Intelligence indicates the presence of multiple other individuals also calling themselves the Black Queen. The nature and origin of these individuals is inconclusive. The Chaos Insurgency Overview The Chaos Insurgency is a splinter group of the Foundation created by a rogue cell that went AWOL with several SCP objects in 1924. Since then, the Insurgency has been become a major player on the world stage, using the anomalies that it obtains for its own benefit and to consolidate its global power base. The insurgency not only deals in anomalies, but also in weapons running and intelligence gathering. It makes use of authoritarian regimes in poor and developing countries, often using their populations in the same manner as the Foundation does D-Class personnel. It helps to maintain the extreme poverty and war that is suffered by these countries, so it can continue its radical experimentation, easy conscription of forces, and lucrative business deals with various opposing factions. Most of the anomalous objects possessed by the insurgency are unknown. Among the most notable items are the Staff of Hermes, an item capable of warping the physical and chemical properties of any matter it touches, and the Bell of Entropy, an object that can cause a variety of destructive effects depending on where it is struck. Both of these items are originally obtained at no small cost by the Foundation and were stolen by the original founders of the Insurgency. The SCP objects and other anomalies stolen from the Foundation typically possess high potential for direct utility, but the insurgency had also made use of anomalies with less direct applications, such as SCP-884. The main base of operations of the insurgency is unknown, as are its current leaders. 
The organization is directly antagonistic to the Foundation, using deadly force to attempt to prevent Foundation containment of multiple anomalies. The Foundation has also been infiltrated by agents of the insurgency in the past, resulting in the loss of valuable scientific data, theft of a number of anomalies, and deaths of personnel. Personnel are made to be aware of possible raids, terrorist action, and spies from the insurgency, and are to notify their superiors about any activities from fellow personnel fitting the insurgency behavioral profile. The Chicago Spirit Overview During the early 20th century, the Chicago Spirit was the largest anomalous criminal organization in the Western Hemisphere, based in Chicago, Illinois. The group's influence extended to most major cities in the United States, particularly New York, Boston, New Orleans, and the extra-dimensional city-state of Three Portlands. The spirit was known for recruiting individuals with anomalous capabilities, as well as creating and exploiting anomalous artifacts for use in criminal activities. The spirit was founded in 1895 by Chicago resident and bar owner Richard D. Chappell, who was himself an anomalous individual. Despite years of effort, the Foundation remained largely unsuccessful in its attempts to suppress Chappelle's rise to power, due in part to its limited resources at the time as a result of an ongoing internal crisis. In January of 1990, the Foundation officially suspended all opposition against the Chicago spirit to ensure their cooperation in preventing the spread of SCP-2680. Once allowed to operate unimpeded, the spirit flourished into a nationwide syndicate and eventually became a driving force in the illegal distribution of alcohol during the Prohibition era. Thanks to the success of its bootlicking business, the Chicago spirit continued to amass power over North American markets and politics throughout the 1920s, and the Foundation was eventually forced to terminate its truce with the group in order to prevent the complete dissolution of scientific normalcy. On July 11th, 1933, Richard Chappell was finally apprehended by Foundation operatives following a raid on the spirit's base of operations. In the absence of its leader, the group gradually destabilized, and most of its members and assets were acquired by other organizations. As of 1938, the Foundation officially considers the Chicago spirit to be defunct. However, rumors of the spirit's continued survival have persisted in subsequent decades. Various artifacts have been discovered which imply the group's involvement, though a conclusive link has yet to be proven. Furthermore, recent evidence has revealed the emergence of a new syndicate calling itself the Chicago Spectre which seems to operate primarily in anomalous underground communities. Investigation into this group and its connections to the original spirit, if any, are ongoing. The Church of the Broken God Overview Shortly after the discovery and containment of SCP-882, several members of this church came forward and demanded the return of the Heart of the God, led by one Robert Bumaro. They are a group of zealots, believing many of the SCP items to be part of a god that was broken after the creation of the universe. By restoring it to its whole state, they will also gain godhood. Since first contact, three other key components of the god have also been tentatively identified. SCP-217, SCP-271, and SCP-1139. They are extremely hostile to Foundation operatives, branding them heretics, and will attempt to kill operatives and break containment of SCP items. It is unknown how they were able to detect these items, but they have been shown their ability to do so with frightening accuracy. In addition, they have shown a remarkable ability to resist the mental effects of SCP items, notably SCP-882 and its mental lore. The church is viewed as a threat to both the SCP Foundation and mankind. Members are to be detained by force 
or eliminated by whatever means deemed necessary by Foundation agents. Church of the Second High Toth Overview The Church of the Second High Toth is an occult organization of human and alien entities that adhere to the extraterrestrial or Tothan religion, aiming to aid a universal guardian deity, Rock Morlusen, in combat against extra universal threats known as Varutu. The central beliefs of the religion are that the current universe, the second High Toth, was preceded by a different universe, which used to exist until it was consumed by an extra universal entity. A group of survivors led to the newly created second High Toth are reality, with seven of them choosing to ascend to godhood to ensure the universe's safety. Six of these gods died over time, leaving Okmurusen as the last survivor. Operations taken by the church are performed underneath the veil, likely to avoid heavy scrutiny from normal sea organizations. The main language of the group is their totem extraterrestrial language, Oriel which has been anonymously kept unchanged despite the distances between our Tothan sects. Group members attribute this to acts of divine intervention. Human or Tothan belief systems are known to have existed by approximately 11,000 BCE, corresponding to the formation of the ancient or Tothan kingdom civilization, though modern branches have only been developed in the past century. A Tothan group separate from the church exists, all being significantly smaller in comparison, and tend to have differing moral beliefs. Beyond the church, the Atothan religion has an interstellar and intergalactic presence, having initially emerged among extraterrestrial civilizations. Numerous such Atothan civilizations are known to exist, with the full extent not yet ascertained. Among the largest of these is the Terzan II or Tothan Coalition, a collection of Tothan entities residing in Gobler Cluster Tarzan II at war with the hostile Twelve Stars Civilization. The only Tothan civilization known to have entered the solar system is Species of Interest 002. It is presumed extinct. Dear College Overview Dear College is a co-educational liberal arts and occult sciences college in the heart of scenic three portlands, an extra-dimensional city-state located adjacent to the American Northwest and Southern England, with a curriculum that focuses on the marriage of mundane and occult disciplines and a well-regarded and art program. Deer is often seen as the liberal arts counterpart, GOC-sponsored rival across town, ICSUT Portland. A number of prominent figures in the anonymous world are their alumni, including Vincent Anderson, the CEO of Anderson Robotics, and Esther Lesbian Ganger Cogan, one of the co-founders of Gamers Against Weed. As the Foundation's operations in three Portland are heavily restricted by a number of agreements with the FBI's Unusual Incidents Unit, their college itself is relatively free of Foundation intervention. However, all their alumni are automatically marked as persons of interest and may be subject to increased Foundation scrutiny. Dr. Wondertainment Overview Dr. Wondertainment, whether an individual or collective entity, is capable of producing anomalous artifacts and entities which thematically resemble children's toys. The nature of these objects and devices varies, although all are clearly intended to be utilized by children. In addition, Dr. Wondertainment is responsible for the creation of the Little Misters, anomalous humanoids altered for collectability. Dr. Wondertainment is known to have targeted Foundation personnel in the past, and their feelings towards the Foundation appear to be ambiguous. See the entry of Isabel Wondertainment on the personnel at RCA for more information. Links to the factory has been speculated, but are unconfirmed. The Factory Little is known about the factory. Excursions into facilities purported to be operated by them have yielded limited results, and no concrete conclusions have been reached 
except that they have been capable of manufacturing anomalous artifacts, and that they use mass production techniques to do so. The Fifth Church This church is to other churches what clowns are to people. There are some superficial similarities, but all the wrong reasons are being emphasized and exaggerated, so you can't quite put your finger on what is wrong. Sure, it isn't out to get you, but what does it mean? Why is it here? What happens if it calls to you? Dr. Beep Overview The Fifth Church, also known as the Church of Fifthism, or the Fifthist Fellowship, is a highly secretive religious organization which possesses ties throughout the entertainment industry. Despite repeated investigations, culminating in the 2007 nationwide sting known as Operation Stargazer, no further details regarding its doctrines, its practices, its number of members, or its goals have been confirmed. Although a watch list is maintained of 100 confirmed and suspected Fifthist celebrities and other prominent personalities, its origins have been placed in varying points in the mid-20th century in various locations in North America and Asia, but some sources have dated it to centuries earlier. The Fifth Church has never communicated directly with the SCP Foundation, but is to be considered a hostile force. Gamers Against Weed Overview Gamers Against Weed is a loosely organized confederation of anonymous individuals, as well as associates thereof, that produce or procure anomalies for satirical purposes and or for their own amusement. More recently, however, they have also been implicated in supplying anomalies to left-wing political organizations, while Games Against Weed organizes its activities primarily over internet channels. Several real-world locations associated with the group have been identified and raided. Current intelligence suggests that Gamers Against Weed is in the process of creating and distributing a set of anomalous humanoids to parody Dr. Wondertainment's Little Mister series, and that it is aware of the Foundation's operations, if not its exact nature. The attainment of Gamers Against Weed members has proven more difficult than anticipated. Some of the group's organizers are believed to possess reality-altering capabilities, either in their own right or through access to outside sources. Current operations are focused on the containment of related anomalies and the identification and analysis of Gamers Against Weed's most dangerous members. The Global Occult Coalition, the GOC Overview the GOC was created in the aftermath of World War II from the remnants of defecting occultists, psychics, priests, and scientists from Nazi, Soviet, and Allied states brought together and formed by the Allies. As the world stage broadened, so too did the number of countries that had their hands in the GOC until it became what it is today. The GOC are largely political force seen themselves as the police of the paranormal world. They pride themselves on destroying supernatural entities and make use of the most high-tech experimental technology possible obtained from their benefactors. Many potential SCPs have been destroyed by them before the Foundation could obtain and contain them. They have been both on the side of the Foundation and against it at times, depending on the situation. They largely hold the Foundation in contempt for their use and containment of SCP items rather than their out-and-out -out destruction. The GOC has respected Foundation's formidable might enough to leave it mostly alone. Although there have been some questionable incidents in which the GOC have strictly denied involvement, agents of the GOC are to be treated with suspicion. GRU Division P Overview. Originally known as the 4th Department Abnormal Occurrences Commission, it was established in early 1935 by direct decree of J.V. Stalin, its first task being the investigation of the murder of S.M. Kurloff. During World War II, the commission expanded into the newly reorganized 
GRU-S Division P Psychotronics, working to counteract anomalous threats from the SS Ananabe and the Vatican, and to capture and study anomalous artifacts both at home and abroad for the benefit of the Soviet government. Division P has carried on with this role throughout the Cold War, making foundation operations in the countries of the Comintern difficult. After 1991, rapid restructuring coupled with budget cuts and a decommissioning or sale of significant assets resulted in numerous defections of the personnel. A significant proportion of both Chaos Insurgency and MCND operatives in Eastern Europe originated from GRU Division P ranks. And the flooding of the European black market with anomalous items formerly in their possession. Currently, this group of interest poses little direct threat to the Foundation. Herman Foros Circus of the Disquieting Overview Herman Foros Circus of the Disquieting is purported to be a circus of anomalous origin and purpose. Currently, there is no evidence that this group exists beyond the allegations of various sapient SCPs and a handful of damaged non-anomalous artifacts. Most related objects typified by humanoid status utilize anomalous deformities for the sake of performance in some way, such as SCP-1884 and SCP-2902. Others appear to be typical fairground object DR, such as SCP-1921, or to take a form of attractions for the show, such as SCP-3717 or SCP-1695. Typically, objects related to Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting are found at fairgrounds where the show is said to have performed. The Horizon Initiative Overview The Horizon Initiative is an organization created in the late 1960s by various influential sects in the main three Abrahamic religions as a response to a growing number of anomalous activities and groups which they perceive as threats. Though the full extent of their goals is uncertain, the Horizon Initiative is known to target SCP objects, either with the intention of retrieving or destroying them, depending on each item's perceived place in their dogma. The initiative is led by a tribunal composed of leaders from the three largest sects involved in its creation. Though a large amount of internal strife often leaves the official leadership in less than full control of the organization, the initiative's main combat force, Project Malice, is generally deployed in anti-cult operations and in SCP retrieval operations. The initiative's relations with most other groups of interest and the foundation seems to be in a state of constant flux. While all parts of the initiative perceive the Church of the Broken God in the Fifth Church with a great degree of hostility and at times engaging them in armed conflict, sentiments toward the Foundation and the GOC vary greatly, from open hostility to a limited willingness to cooperate, depending on the internal affiliation of individual members. The Imperial Japanese Anonymous Matters Examination Agency Overview The Imperial Japanese Anonymous Matters Examination Agency, or IJAMEA, not to be confused with the Foundation precursor, IGAMEA. The Imperial Anonymous Matters Examination Agency was Japan's official and primary anomaly agency in the period from the Meiji Restoration in 1868 until the end of World War II in 1945. The agency was founded with a purpose to bring Japan up to speed with Western esoteric research, acting as a modern counterpart to pre-existing so-called primitive groups. In this capacity, the agency catalogued hundreds of different anomalous spread throughout Japan and her colonies, conducted extensive research on these, and undertook numerous projects aiming to utilize the anomalous for the greater good of the threatening empire. The agency saw its most significant role during World War II when it attempted to weaponize several anomalies to assist military forces in the war against the Allies. 
Rushed planning and insufficient funds, however, resulted in a few of these programs bearing fruit. The agency was formally disbanded with the Treaty of San Francisco in 1951, and most of its assets were either transferred to GOC control or covertly acquired by the Foundation. However, Imperial Loyalists and Japanese Nationalists within it kept the agency alive in the post-war years, this time as a clandestine organization during which its main focus was checking the spread of communist influence in Japan and East Asia. Today, it primarily serves to care for the well-being of Japan's diverse but faltering anomalous ecology and supports various nationalist agendas with its ties to prominent politicians, business people, and cultural personalities throughout Japan. It seeks to return some political power to the imperial family and return Japan to great power status, and actively seeks to exploit the various anomalies in its possession for this purpose. The Foundation is seen as a foreign rival at best, and agents are to exercise due caution when interacting with agency personnel. Manor Charitable Foundation Overview Established in 1971 as an interfaith humanitarian relief agency, recovered documents described the Manor Charitable Foundation's mission as sharing all of God's miracles with the least of his children. Funded indirectly through associations with various charitable groups and religious organizations, and, on occasion, publicly endorsed by wealthy philanthropists or academic institutions, the MCF's primary agenda since its founding has been the free distribution of anomalous objects or their byproducts to civilians living in poverty-stricken regions in the Third World or in areas affected by warfare, famine, or natural disaster. The MCF is currently recognized as a non-governmental organization by the United Nations and is known to operate legally and illegally in several hostile or isolated regions outside the Foundation's sphere of influence. While no SCP objects known to have been distributed by the MCF to date have caused intentional harm to human beings or communities, and detained MCF operatives tend to demonstrate strong pacifist beliefs, containment breaches associated with the group have often resulted in human casualties or severe threats to the global status quo due to unforeseen consequences of the objects released from containment and or a seal to distribute potentially helpful objects immediately without rigorous scientific study of their long-term behavior. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited Overview A club based in London, England, catering to the super-rich and with extensive political and financial ties worldwide, this group has caused extensive problems for the Foundation. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited is known for collecting rare and obscure items, along with providing its members the most exclusive, expensive, and rare experiences available. These activities have resulted in conflict with the Foundation on numerous occasions. The group is not known for the use of force. They prefer to apply extreme financial and political pressure to achieve their goals. When forced to use more direct means, Marshall Carter and Dark Limited employs outside agents, and it's very difficult to connect said agents to the organization. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited has caused several SCP containment breaches, primarily through the use of money or social pressure. Several reports, records, and even items have been linked by Foundation personnel who had been approached with large amount of money, or threats of extensive jail time or torture. Notably, two containment sites were almost brought to public attention after the Foundation refused access to members of Marshall Cardo and Dark Limited. Information pertaining to Marshall Cardo and Dark Limited, such as the name of the director or even a list of members, has proven very difficult to acquire. Agents encountering members of this group are advised to maintain a cover story and not for any reason 
We feel foundation ties or SCP information. Nobody. Overview. Little is currently known about the person, entity, or group known as Nobody. First sighted in 1954, they have had numerous appearances since. There has only been one person seen at any given time, typically described as a male Caucasian dressed in a grey suit and fedora. If asked his identity, he replies that he is nobody. However, it is not known if this is the work of a single person or multiple agents of a single unknown agency. Their gender is currently unknown, sometimes helping the Foundation, sometimes hindering it. Caution is recommended if any agents encounter an operative identifying themselves as nobody. Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts, Aurea Overview The Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts, or Aurea, is a paramilitary force answerable only to the Supreme Leader of Iran, dedicated to the collection and utilization of anomalous artifacts throughout the Middle East and Central Asia. Following the 1979 overthrow of the Imperial Iranian government, by revolutionary forces, and subsequent creation of the Islamic Republic of Iran, all Foundation personnel were expelled from Iran as agents of colonialism. Attempts at maintaining a clandestine presence in the country met with failure, with the majority of Foundation personnel either captured or killed, and sites beep, beep, and beep being captured by Iranian forces. To prevent Iran from being left behind in the field of extra-normal research, the Aurea was created by a secret decree of Supreme Leader Khomeini in 1981. Despite its name, the group has not limited itself to the pursuit of anomalous objects of Islamic origin. Although the Aurea has access to considerable resources, its effectiveness is hobbled by infighting among numerous factions within the organization. Some of these disputes center around philosophical differences, such as the weaponization of anomalous objects, while others appear to be personal in nature. The proliferation of factions appears to have been intentional, as the organization of the Aria often leaves multiple commanders with overlapping areas of responsibility. It is theorized that the reasoning behind this arrangement was to prevent any one individual from accumulating enough power to pose a challenge to the Supreme Leader. With the spread of Iranian hegemony throughout the Middle East and Western Asia, the Aurea has expanded its reach across the region, becoming the foremost paranormal organization in the Middle East. The Aurea is to be considered a hostile force, and Foundation personnel are advised to use extreme caution when engaging. Honorary Collective Overview Information about the Honorary Collective has come to the Foundation only through analysis and interviews or the anonymous objects they leave behind. It is believed to be a collective consciousness of dreaming persons and dream-based entities. Intelligence has shown that they have been documented by other groups of interest, usually to a degree similar to the Foundation's interaction. The Honorary Collective is apparently capable of contacting even highly isolated entities like nobody. The goals, if any exist, are currently unknown. Power Watch Overview The Power Watch Wiki is an online web forum of conspiracy theorists, paranormal enthusiasts, and amateur writers operating with the intent of investigating and exposing anomalous phenomena. The group primarily complies short stories on their forum, detailing encounters with paranormal phenomena, historical cases, and any unusual events users have experienced. Further operation and any potential impact on normalcy is hindered by the geographic spread of the user base and the lack of central coordination. Despite investment in the paranormal, Power Watch has no knowledge on the nature of anomalous phenomena, the veil, and the Foundation's existence. This, in tandem with public obscurity, 
has prevented them from potentially endangering the veil. The group is currently being left active as a means of misinforming and misleading other investigations into the anomalous. Prometheus Labs Incorporated Overview Founded in 1892, Prometheus Labs was dedicated to researching anomalous objects for use in developing new technologies. Over the years, Prometheus Labs developed into a multinational conglomerate selling advanced and anomalous technologies to government, militaries, and groups of interest. Throughout its history, Prometheus Labs displayed a nominal amount of cooperation with Foundation efforts to protect normalcy, and at times even cooperated with the Foundation, but refused to cease its study of anomalies and resisted Foundation oversight. In 1998, following a long period of financial decline, the Prometheus Labs conglomerate was dissolved, resulting in the creation of numerous successor companies formed from its subsidiaries. The breakup of the conglomerate was fraught with technical and administrative difficulties, resulting in the loss of many products and the layoffs of numerous personnel. Most of the former projects of Prometheus Labs now in containment were recovered during this time, and many of its former employees were hired by the Foundation. Socket Cult Overview Sarkism is a religious philosophical system that encompasses a variety of traditions, beliefs, and spiritual practices largely based on teachings attributed to Grand Causes Eon, its deified founder. Adherents practices ritual cannibalism, human sacrifice, corporeal augmentation, thaumaturgy, and dimensional manipulation. Highly secretive, the general public appears to have no direct knowledge of their existence, the one exception being the Church of the Broken God, who views them in apocalyptic terms. Organic manipulation has allowed certain sarcocytes to achieve anomalous states of being, transcending the physical limitations of baseline humans. Disease is viewed with reverence, and sarcic shrines have been discovered with offerings of swollen lymph nodes and numerous growths. Sarcic cults treat contagions as consecration a means to cull the weak and purify the masses, and thus actively seek to ensure their spread. The Foundation divides known psychic cults into two distinct strands, proto psychic and neo psychic proto psychic cults can be found in insular communities throughout Eurasia's most isolated regions. Its followers generally poor, if self-reliant, and hostile towards outsiders. Such groups exude modernity, display acute technophobia, and are bound by superstition and taboo. In contrast, neo psychic cults are cosmopolitan, publicly embracing modernity and showing no apparent qualms with technology. Their public lives differ little from others of their culture and social status. Adherents are primarily affluent families rich in history and scandal. Ultimately, it is believed that the Foundation only knows a fraction of what Sarxism is and what its followers intend. Based on the available information, the speculated goals of Sarkic cult represent an SK-class dominance shift, including the possibility of an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. The Serpent's Hand Overview the Serpent's Hand is a small but formidable organization responsible for several security breaches. At least three different individuals had been encountered, all of whom used possible or confirmed anomalous items for infiltration purposes, including SCP-268, which was stolen from the Foundation, who had in turn recovered it during a raid of a Chaos Insurgency facility. The total number of members belonging to this organization is unknown, as is their level of technology, number of possible SCPs held, or total level of threat. However, it is clear they are highly coordinated and possibly dangerous. One of their leaders is thought to be a figure known as LS, 
who is considered to be personally responsible for two security breaches in Foundation sites. The Foundation currently has very little information about the Serpent's Hand, and almost all known information about the Serpent's Hand has been leaked from the GOC intelligence. The group seems to embrace the use and existence of paranormal items, and in particular seems to embrace humanoid and sentient SCPs. The Serpent's Hand has been highly vocal in criticizing the containment and destruction of these SCPs, especially those which are fully human and are not particularly destructive. The group seems to have unfriendly relations with the Chaos Insurgency and Theoria, an extremely hostile relationship with the GOC. The only recorded cases of unprovoked violence by Serpent's Hand members has been against GOC agents. The Serpent's Hand seems primarily based on an anomalous location called the Wanderer's Library, a building accessed through portals found in many different parts of the world. Direct assaults on the library have so far proven unfeasible, even when entrances could be found. However, initial intelligence seems to suggest the Hand has little understanding or control over the place. Attempts to infiltrate the Wanderer's Library are ongoing. Shark Punching Center Overview The Shark Punching Center, also known as the Selikian Punching Center, the Selikorsk Punks Combine, among others, is an organization located in one or more parallel universes, apparently acting as an alternate universe counterpart to the Foundation. While the Foundation has known of the Center for several decades, the structure, documentation, and general tone taken by the Shark Punching Center varies wildly suggesting one or more universes are in a state of flux. Documents pertaining to the Shark Punching Center have been recovered and indicate a much more militaristic and unstable tone than a Foundation document. A the name would suggest, the SPC is mostly focused on furthering hand-to-hand -hand combat as a means to neutralize Selechian entities, though some documentation fails to differentiate between Selechian and Aquatic. It is unclear if the Shark Punching Center has any knowledge or concern of or with Foundation activities. The Three Moons Initiative Overview The Three Moons Initiative is an extra-dimensional human military organization based in SCP-2922-C, an afterlife also known as Kopernik. Through a partnership with the Kobanese deity Jalakar, they act as a multi-dimensional security force for the protection of the human race. While initiative personnel believe that they are operating in humankind's best interests, military overreach, poor communication, issues with internal bureaucracy, and other factors, combined with the disproportionately high military strength to our own, have made them a potential liability to public safety in our dimension. As such, they maintain an unstable peace with the Foundation. Operatives of the Three Moons Initiative are to be treated with extreme caution. Unusual Incidents Unit, UIU, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Overview, the Unusual Incidents Unit was formed after the onset of the Cold War, when many aspects of the American government were focused on utilizing the anomalous and preventing the communists from doing the same. This led to the creation of a special FBI division devoted to rapid response to paranormal events and crimes. Director J. Edgar Hoover was presently involved with their creation. Although initially given significant funding and resources by the American government, following the end of the Cold War, and the dissolution of enemy organizations such as the GRUP. The UIU had been in a state of decline for many years. Disparagingly referred to as X-Files and UI-useless by the larger anonymous community, the agency is generally well-meaning, but due to a lack of financial resources, little manpower, and bureaucratic obstruction by the US government, it is often perceived as ineffective. 
The influence of the Foundation and Global Co Coalition in the United States government has stopped the UIU and other U.S. government entities dealing with anomalous activity, such as the U.S. Air Force's 616th Squadron, Oswell's Revengers, and U.S. Navy SEAL Team Bravo Papa Romeo Delta from being dissolved entirely. FBI agents and special agents who joined the Unusual Instance Unit often have backgrounds and psychology, STEM field, and art studies. As part of the Patriot Act, agents of the unit are required to be administered personalized medic silencing agents, PMSA, correctly referred to as gag orders by agents of the UIU, to avoid leaks. The unusual incidents unit has been known to engage in combat alongside and against various anomalous organizations in the past including participating in several combat operations under Foundation supervision in the 1950s and 1960s, and a Black Mumbo incident in Afghanistan in 1976, an infamous skirmish between UIU agents and members of GRUP. Currently, a division of the Unusual Incidents Unit oversees the autonomous anomalous state of three Portlands. An example of underfunding and understaffing in the Unusual Incidents Unit can be seen in its sole remaining division in the Midwestern United States. Wilson's Wildlife Solutions Overview Wilson's Wildlife Solutions is a paranormal, publicly funded wildlife service based in Cogamus County, Oregon, specifically in the town of Boeing. Although the Foundation has known of Wilson's Wildlife Solutions' existence and anomalous affiliations since 1999, it took nine years until the Ursus Maritimus incident in 2008 for their existence to be officially recognized and a relationship established between the two groups. Currently, the Boeing Agreement outlines that Wilson's Wildlife Solutions should be supervised by MTF Beta 4 castaways local to Site-64, and that they may handle containment of safe or Euclid fauna-based anomalies and varying degrees of Foundation intervention on a case-to-case -case basis. Amendments to the Boeing Agreement can be and have been made to account for grey areas or new policies as necessary. Meat Circus Little is known about a group called Meat Circus, except for the fact that they deal in drastic human body modifications. The resulting artworks seem to be put up for sale afterwards. Most of the Meat Circus creations share a common trait. Various inserts made of an unidentified black metal and Roman numerals tattooed on their skin. The Foundation's attention was first drawn to this group after their assault on the redacted mobile base in 2000 Beep. During the assault, Meat Circus members kidnapped numerous Foundation employees, including an MTF Edda Beep Hornet operative. Later that year, in March, two MTF operatives were found dead near Site Beep, as well as one Dr. Beep still alive. The backs of their heads were shaved and tattooed with the letter F. Subsequently, Meat Circus members have confronted Foundation operatives several times. According to recent reports, Meat Circus consists of three departments. The first, called Mutators, are known to sculpt flesh like clay, creating creepy and bizarre chimeras. The second department, the Technicians, integrate various prostheses into the bodies of their creations, making them look like complex mechanisms. The third, called Mages, use mystical powers to breathe life into corpses. All three departments are competing with each other, trying to create the ultimate creation, the masterpiece. According to one legend, these departments were originated by three daughters of pain, semi-divine beings that strive for supremacy. Lefty Lefty is a pseudonym of an inventor whose identity is currently unknown. This nickname is borrowed from the classical Nuskov work about a talented craftsman from Tula 
who could show a flea? Lefty supplies criminal gangs with various anonymous devices and substances of supposedly his own design and manufacture. It is known that Lefty is aware of the Foundation, although there were no hostile actions directed towards the Foundation on his part. Nevertheless, capturing Lefty is a priority task for the Russian branch. A distinctive feature of Lefty's inventions are added notes that are written in a kind and benevolent manner. His standard signature is, From Lefty with Love. Logos Incorporated In the 1990s, as a result of negotiations between the SCP Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition, a project branded Logos was created as an enterprise to deal with anonymous events having psychological and large-scale social impact that can change the way of human life and all the human consciousness. As the Global Occult Coalition grew in power, it developed an independent doctrine of dealing with anomalies, with destruction being the first and foremost objective, completely against the Foundation's interests. In the turmoil of the active confrontation that followed, Logos Incorporated was left unattended as it was considered a low-priority project by the time. This turned out to be a mistake. During the period of independence, spanning at least deep years, the new GOI's priorities underwent a major change. They switched their focus to their own scientific progress in the fields of medicine, IT, psychology, and applied use of the technologies they developed. Grotto of the Gangrenous God The Grotto of the Gangrenous God is a common designation of a variety of sects that have risen within the Russian Federation during the last few decades, from the mid-1990s to present. At first sight, the Grotto of the Gangrenous God seems to be decentralized and divided into a variety of freestanding confessions, though, in spite of some differences, all the branches of the Grotto of the Gangrenous God have a number of common traits. The core of all the teachings is worshipping entropy in all of its forms and manifestations. This concept is impersonated on figures of the Gangrenous God and smaller deities called permutation portenders, who symbolize particular aspects of decay and disruption processes. In reference to destructive events, adepts often do self-mutilation, voluntarily infecting themselves with different diseases. Leprosy, in particular, is common, as well as consume spoiled food and organic waste. Among other similarities, there are similar cosmogonic models, aesthetics, extensive usage of alliterations and titles, and, in some cases, in speech and writing. Sometimes it turns into a specific form of glossolalia. The Grotto of the Gregorian's God makes extensive use of anonymous artifacts in their religious activity, some or all of which are of extra universal origin. A distinctive feature of most artifacts related to the Gregorian's God cult is their influence on mind, mainly in an aesthetic sense and perceived value. Usage of most artifacts is fraught with negative effects on health that are perceived in a euphoric manner and can cause addiction. National Paranormal Emergency Service, NPES Overview The National Paranormal Emergency Service, a security agency of the Republic of Korea, is a secret presidential organization to cope with paranormal cases in Korean territory. The NPES was founded per the Joint Statement of December 5th, issued by the Korean government under agreement with the Foundation and the GOC. Since the ROK government signed the ROK Foundation Memorandum of Agreement on Anomalies of the Korean Peninsula, company known as the Pearson Memorandum in 1981, Korea has entirely delegated paranormal security issues to the Foundation. However, 
the ever-increasing anomalous threat in the 21st century, especially the rise of illegal paranormal organizations, domestic activities called for a more appropriate response system. The ROK government persuaded the foundation for the establishment of the NPES and initiated a crackdown mission by listing GOIs from 2018. The NPES is capable of quickly detecting anomalies and deploying on-site personnel thanks to the linkage between government organizations and surveillance assets deployed across the country. However, under the Person Memorandum, the NPES does not possess any anomalous objects or technology that utilizes them and are to hand over most of the anomalies they have retrieved to the Foundation. The NPES is a national agency that prioritizes the national interest and public safety of the Republic of Korea and is a latecomer that entered the International Paranormal Society belatedly with many restrictions. The NPES aims to benefit from the GOC and the Foundation by maintaining a good relationship with them, but is not wholly dictated by the principles of conduct. Dino Dawn's Hand Overview Dino Dawn's Hand is a subordinate organization of the Serpent's Hand, which is active in the Korean Peninsula. It is not clear when exactly was the sale of the Serpent's Hand organized in the Korean Peninsula. They are completely undetectable until a clash with the Foundation in 2011. Since the appearance of 2011, they are frequently struggling against GOC Far East located in Japan. The Foundation Korean Regional Command is consuming considerable asset and manpower to conceal their struggle and its sign from the public. Occasionally, the Foundation suffers collateral damage from them, but the Donodon's Hand is avoiding active engagement with the Foundation. This is considered as a strategic avoidance to prevent a two-front war, and it is believed that they are hostile to Foundation as well as GOC. Celeste Overview Celeste is a private education business in Korea. It aims to improve the client's academic performance by offering anomalous products and services while operating underground to shake off organizations such as the Foundation. Celeste is primarily known to operate within education complexes in Seoul but has numerous front companies and affiliate businesses. Due to this, little information is known about its core architecture or members. Known affiliates of Celeste include Artery Stationery, Pioneer Academy, and education consultation firm Gruon Inc., but not much is known about their connections to Celeste. The exact date of Celeste's founding is unknown but its earliest known operations date back to the mid-2010s. No activity outside Korea has been observed to date, but the number of reports regarding its activity in the Korean private education industry is steadily on the rise. Related anomalous technologies are generally considered not very dangerous. However, considering that Celeste aims to serve clients of a certain age group, its expansion might potentially be a significant threat to the Foundation's veil policy. The Foundation continues tracking Celeste under the cooperation of the Republic of Korea Police Force and the National Paranormal Agency Service, NPES. Beyond Entropy, BE Overview Beyond Entropy is one of the groups of interest that try to overcome environmental crises by using anomalous items. In the old days, the members of a minor environmental group called ESC, Environmental Shelter Community, agonized over the second law of thermodynamics and learned information of objects that are classified as ectoentropic from the SCP Foundation. They got some real ectoentropic SCP items and visited a famous person called Bernard Engelbert, who once departed the ESC because they needed some 
aid of capital of him. After several hostile contacts with the Foundation, they made a new secret underground organization beyond entropy that was headed by Bernard Engelbert, holding the old organization for a service party. Now the group is known as Edible Scraps Community. BE does its task based on the custom signed cell system, and each cell works with their own purpose. For this reason, BE makes various environmental works which are associated with irregular elements. Its task, as well as study of the actual entropy, such as extortion of SCP items of the Foundation, development of new anomalous items, rescue of the beings which suffer from anomalous things, sabotage of a machine civilization, and actual activity by application of SCP items, Although the Foundation already have punished several cellular points organizations, the Foundation cannot be in the least daunted the activity of BE because they hide its leadership in core research facilities exhaustively. BE members armed with firearms in the regions will permit possession of arms and they are at enmity with the Foundation. The Tenth Bureau, Korean Central Intelligence Agency Overview The Korean Central Intelligence Agency Tenth Bureau was a pro-normality government facility of the Fourth Republic of Korea, which lasted from 1973 to 1981. The Tenth Bureau mobilized anomalies for the benefit of the South Korean regime under the pretense of restoring paranormal sovereignty by absorbing professional human resources nationally and globally. The Bureau quickly grew into a force to be reckoned with. During this growth, the South Korean government attempted to replace the Foundation with the KCIA 10th Bureau, placing a burden on the Foundation Korean Regional Command's actions. Since 1945, the South Korean government has left anomalies in the Southern Korean Peninsula in the Foundation's hands. However, such cooperation was discontinued after the founding of the 10th Bureau. Albeit the Foundation's presence on the Korean Peninsula, the 10th Bureau, which aggressively gathered, assessed, and weaponized anomalies, emerged as a considerable threat to the Foundation, despite its lack of theoretical background. After seven years of constant constraint, alas, following the political turmoil, in October 1979, the conflict lowed down as the KICA, including the 10th Bureau, spiraled into dysfunction. Following the reorganization of the KCIA to the Agency for National Security Planning, ANSP, in 1981, the 10th Bureau was dissolved, along with other cooperative departments scattered about the government structure. The Foundation absorbed most personnel and assets, but there are confirmed cases of acquisitions by other groups of interest. The Foundation then took control of the anomalies in South Korea, neither cooperating with the NPS founded in 2018 to this day. Bloxoft Overview Bloxoft is the video game company which produces anomalous video games. The firstly detected by the Foundation in Tony Beep during their investigation into the case about SCP-185KO. This company is known to sell their games on their online game mall, Beep. But the Foundation has been failing in all attempts to access this shopping site by unknown causes. Although the Foundation chased Plugsoft through various means since first contact, little is known about Plugsoft. The only source of the information about them is the company's personnel who appear in the Foundation facilities and SCPs for the activities called the Bug Fix. Most arrested personnel rejected the statement and automatically vanished away, so the Foundation only figured out from the personnel that Fluxsoft intend to influence a reality. According to the research on the video games of Fluxsoft, there seem to 
be a few gamers who are playing these games, but the attempt to find the gamers has also been fruitless to date. Some of the games are significantly dangerous, so the Foundation presumed that Plugsoft did not pursue a positive way. Plugsoft create games belonging to various genres, such as PC games, console games, mobile games, and board games. Plugsoft seems to have a space warping technology or more, but their technical limitations are unknown. Noonday Oak Tube Note Overview Originally, this troupe was one of the bands which are made up of street musicians who were formed in the Beep City, Taiwan in 19 BT. Note says that they can control the people's feelings, even natural phenomenons in some cases, by their music. After the end of the Sino-Japanese War, the whole country was devastated. This group and local people have been persecuted, so the troupe held a concert to encourage people to take part in philanthropy to help paupers under the motto be against dictatorship and communism and help the people in need. Thereafter, the troupe's second generation made an orchestra with comrades who agree with them, created some musicals, hosted the World Tour concert, and finally formed Note. Note made musical instruments with anomalous items and performed them. In some cases, performers and manufacturers seemed to be humanoid SCP objects. The tube only used anomalous objects for classical instruments in the early days, but now they use anomalous electronic instruments and equipment also. After the joining of Japanese electronic instrument specialist Beep and Korean personal electronic device engineer Beep, sometimes note donate anomalous items to the public in goodwill, but most of them malfunction or even cause harm to people. In these cases, the Foundation cooperate with Note to reduce the damage occurred by the items and prevent the worst situations. Note also knows the circumstances and frequently asks for help from the Foundation. Despite these continual failures, Note won't give up and resume activity. The relationship between Note and the Foundation is amicable. The Foundation treat this group as the last place of the caution ranking. The Galactic Federation Overview The Galactic Federation is an actively recruiting organization that combines characteristics of both religion and science fiction and has its own public website, www.beep, where anyone can possibly access information regarding the organization. The organization has a cult-like reputation among the public, and the organization indeed does Parasolitize a manner similar to average cults. It is currently assumed that the members of the Galactic Federation are to a certain extent capable of linking together through a hive mind consciousness and can unconsciously create a series of deceptive mimetic anomalous objects. The organization is apparently incapable of resisting against the measurement of either the Foundation or the local government enforcement and are also unable to use their anomalous abilities effectively. Although their anomalous artifacts sometimes lose control and cause incidents, the organization's philosophy is determined to be a forced mixture of Buddhism and space age science fiction. This seemingly absurd combination exhibits a creed that looks ridiculous, yet the organization continues to produce new anomalous items under this surface. According to primary sources provided by Chinese branch agents hidden within the Galactic Federation, the organization is divided into several highly competitive factions. This causes interference to the Foundation's operations, since not only has it not weakened the threat, but it has also increased difficulty for Foundation agents to reach the organization's core structure. Core Young Sect Overview 
According to current known intelligence, the Koryong sect has a complicated historical background and are extremely well versed in knowledge of the supernatural. It is believed that they are a small organization with a number fixed to beep members. Although they claim to be a branch of Taoism, the members take on the appearance of Chinese Taoists. They do not exhibit any characteristics of a dogmatic religion, but are instead notable for their complex understanding of Chinese feng shui, geomancy, and alchemy, as well as knowledge of ancient Chinese culture and ceremonial tea. Anomalous objects that are related to the Koryong sects are usually anomalous areas, buildings or structures, literature and tools pertaining to Chinese alchemy. Some documents suggest that the organization may have been involved in multiple large historical events, not restricted to just those related to Chinese history. Information that is left by members of the Kuoyang sects are generally recognized to be reliable and even of great value. However, considering they are written in a lyrical form of classical Chinese prose, Foundation personnel should report these messages to the Foundation's expert panel immediately for analyzing purposes. Interpretation without formal knowledge of how to read the messages is forbidden. Since members of the Koyang sect are skilled at escaping an occult invisibility, capturing the members without sufficient preparation is not recommended. Current knowledge shows that their stronghold may have been updated or located in a concealed valley in New Zhongshan. Sin Christina College Overview Sin Christina College is a secondary school known to possess a large quantity of abnormal and supernatural objects. The organization was once registered in the secondary school profiles published by the Hong Kong Education Bureau and seemed to admit students through standard application procedures and by several other avenues. According to the contents of the profile overview, St. Christina College was founded in Gaolong Ward City, Hong Kong in 1952 and moved to a new school campus at Sa Ting District, Hong Kong in 1991. However, the foundation has yet to find evidence of the existence of the organization's campus. Current information shows that the building are located in an extra-dimensional space. The mission statement of St. Christina is raise the most outstanding pillars of society through the most advanced resources. Exemplified by the collection of large amounts of anomalous items through unknown methods, applied to the buildings, academic courses, and extracurricular activities. Certain data shows that while the organization's education content is largely similar to all known secondary education plans, Courses also touch upon the creation and application of anomalous items. Most of the anomalous objects that are related to St. Christina are teaching materials that were once pending to be transported to the organization and the works released by the students such as SCP-CN-050 and SCP-CN-009. The founder of St. Christina College is an unknown person of interest called the principal. Recovered documents shows that students and teachers of the organizations adore him fanatically. According to currently known intelligence, a formidable number of the students that graduated from St. Christina have joined numerous groups of interest across the world, including the Foundation. The Foundation should keep an eye on Foundation personnel that graduated from the organization and employ necessary surveillance measures in secret. The Abnormality Institute Overview The Abnormal Objects and Phenomena Institute of China, or the Abnormality Institute, was the largest group of interest in China before the intervention of the Foundation. Recovered literature from the Abnormality Institute shows that the organization was founded between the Jin and Tong dynasty by elite scholars under the command of rulers at the time and succeeded to numerous different leaders across the ages. However, 
According to writings recovered from ancient Qin and Han dynasty mausoleums, a similar organization seemed to also exist under the rule of Qin Shi Huang before being replaced during the Confucian dominion of the Han dynasty. Similar to data expunged, the Abnormality Institute kept a catalogue which listed in detail all anomalous objects located in China in the form of a bamboo scroll. The scholars of the organization followed the descriptions that were shown on the scroll to contain the anomalous objects they discovered. Additionally, they also attempted to conduct research on the objects that they contained for application purposes. It has been confirmed that Many important events in the history of China, as well as folk tales popular among certain Chinese ethnic groups, have direct or indirect connections to the actions of the abnormality institution. With the increasingly negative and often condemning attitude of the Manchu rulers of the Qing dynasty towards the abnormality institute, the recording of bamboo scrolls drastically decreased and along with the negative effects from the research of the Abnormality Institute, the organization's rapid decline was inevitable. By the time the Foundation's Chinese branch was established and officially made contact with the Abnormality Institute, the entire organization was left with only a few members with neutralized bamboo scroll and a large quantity of related literature. Afterwards, residual faculty of the Abnormality Institute were absorbed into the foundation, the literature being archived for research purposes, and the bamboo scrolls data expunged. Due to its historical nature, the documents left behind by the Abnormality Institute are written mainly in classical Chinese. These documents should be explained by or read under the assistance of former Abnormality Institute members. The O5 Council. Overview. Very little information is known about the group or person of interest known as the O5 Council. It is only understood that the organization is overtly hostile towards the foundation and will create or cause anomalous events en masse, most of them aimed at the foundation. The organization seems to be able to intrude and tamper with the database of the foundation. In fact, the name O5 Council came from the messages left in all SCP articles that involved the organization. These messages are inscribed with O5 land script letter and imitate the command of O5 personnel. The others originally insisted on maintaining a sense of mystery to mimic the O5 council, but ultimately we agreed under my persistence, that knowing our existence is necessary for the whole of the story. For now, at least, you may say we are your shadows, your parallels, your hallucinations, your prototypes. But perhaps in the future, we will be your terminators, your final destinations, your grave diggers, your eternal rivals. We all agree that the story should be reasonable, yet thrilling. Please, wait to see the plot thicken. O5T, the T stands for truth. OB Media Overview, OB Media is a GOI with anomalous properties. It performs as a media firm or a production agency to the public. Though there is no record of direct interaction with anyone involved with OB Media, it can be inferred from SCP items that OB Media is a gigantic corporation which looks for potential customers and peddles anomalous productions, but produces no anonymous item. There might be potential property of inter-universe attached to OB Media. It seems that it has multiple decision makers whose perspectives on the role of the corporation are divided. This divergence leads to the fact that different names of OB Media are recorded, including OB Media, Observer Media, and O Bright Media, etc. In order to normalize the description of the corporation in the foundation, it would usually be described 
as OB Media. Based on the extent information, the decision makers are composed of anomalous individuals from different universes. More attention should be paid to more detailed information involved. It is clear that SCP items involved with OB Media often more or less has unknown hostility towards human beings. Whether its reason is technical failure or not stays unknown. However, it is sure that SCP items related with OB Media often intend to satirize entertainment and consumption. Letters Entertainment Overview The scope of the business of Letters Entertainment covers various game platforms such as PC games, consoles, arcade games, mobile games, and board games. Though anomalous objects produced by the organization usually contain no maliciousness toward human beings, serious consequences can be caused due to the anomalous game-making ideas and properties of Letters Entertainment. The anomalous objects of the organization could improve containment very efficiently in specific cases. Therefore, the proposal of purchasing products of Letters Entertainment for MTF use has been submitted for consideration. There are multiple game studios with partly different game ideas. Despite these differences, the common trait of the products of Letters Entertainment is that it could affect reality in some way. The currently recovered intelligence indicates that different studios don't share a harmonious relationship and vicious competition among the studios have been discovered. Sleeves World Up Club Overview Sleeves World Up Club is a loose group that disguises as a non-profit organization or a criminal tool provider. The main composition of members and their numbers are yet unknown but it has known to have been misguiding its overall impression deliberately, and there are signs of internal disputes. The related SCP items currently contained are mostly anomalies with an effect on human bodies that are made by the club members directed at a certain kind of criminal act and are mainly circulated in the general populace by trading. The club will use anomalies as extreme or even cruel mean to try to combat criminal acts. From the information gathered by field agents, the club's main bases are located at Chinese anomalous communities, and its members mostly contact through the internet without universal characteristic usable for identification. With some information obtained from the other GOIs, the club may have close relationships with other GOIs from Asia, not ruling out the possibilities that there are GOI that provide resources for them or its members are also members of other GOIs. Due to a morality issue with the group, different individuals and groups from anomalous communities have varied views of them. Currently, there are two rumors about the club in anomalous communities. One, the SRUC is a private club that takes using violence against violence as an entertainment and gathers individuals of the same aim and hobby such that they can be entertained by observing criminals affected by their acts in a lofty stance. Or, number two, the club is an alternative non-profit organization formed by adolescents of anomalous communities which try to combat criminal acts through violence and meet the public welfare target hoped for because of their immatureness and the lack of actual morality. This information may contain fabricated composition and the possibility that the image is deliberately presented is hard to be ruled out. The true purpose of their acts are yet unclear. Ecopress Overview Ecopress is a publishing house located in an alternate reality having the ability to produce anomalous items with characteristics of normal information carriers, such as papers, discs, etc. Due to the alternative reality the Equal Press exists in, the Foundation currently lacks knowledge of the cultural, geographic, and space structural information of the world that Equal Press exists in. Based on similar reasons, Equal Press also lacks reliable observation methods 
of the Foundation universe and seem to have limited observation abilities through certain items. Eagle Press uses Chinese as a main language of communication, while some members have proficient English and or ancient Chinese ability, which have no major differences with the same named languages of the Foundation universe. According to related experimental communication records, the alternative reality that Eagle Press exists in seems to have most historical processes the same as that in the Foundation universe, but the degree of differences is uncertain. Most products by Eagle Press has anomalous properties that do not cause direct bodily injuries, though they mostly have strong mental affectability. They usually do not cause casualties. Currently, gathered information shows that Eagle Press seems not to be aggressive towards the Foundation universe. Its attitude is more likely of exploration and have a strong interest in parallel universes that came in contact with the Foundation. On a side note, as Eagle Press has strong exploration interest for parallel worlds, there are reasons to speculate that Eagle Press may possess large amounts of products from different parallel worlds. Fixed Flowers Overview Fixed Flowers is an organization that tries to change the modern society and a moral ethos with anomalous means. The internals of the organization is strict and values the public opinions and levels of data security. Most anomalies created by fixed flowers are anomalous plants, and some carry very mimetic effects and all cut needle hazards. Fixed flowers will distribute anomalies they created in cities or regions irregularly with a community card. From the known information of the Foundation, fixed flowers have been active for beep years within China, even possible that is earlier than the Chinese branch of the Foundation. The composition of members of fixed flowers is complicated and about the same degree of security as the Foundation. From current information, the internal levels are the florist, the guard, and the fixer. The position florist is about the same as the old five council, and from information analysis, all the florists have anomalous abilities or able to create anomalies. Few of them even expose themselves to the public, which the foundation had tried tracking and inspecting, but not gained information of value. Currently, the internals of fixed flowers are of two sects, the planters and the gardeners, or through the style of actions the created anomalies and the concept of ways of changing society are different. Until now, the sects are not hostile against each other, and even having mutual aidings, and are united on responding to external hostile groups. Most anomalies created by fixed flowers are not strong threats to society, unless findings of cataclysmic anomalies related to the organization. For this reason, the current priority of investigation and handling of tasks related to fixed flowers are lowered to level 3, but the behavior of the organization is still to be alerted. Personnel identified to be its members are to be arrested, and bases are to be destroyed. The Systostoma Protection Institute SPI. Overview the Systostoma Protection Institute is a terrorist environmental protection organization with the intent of protecting neglected rare life forms. The SPI advocated that both non-anomalous lives and anomalous lives are part of the ecosystem of the Earth. According to known information, the SPI may be the coalition of several loose groups, including the Sacred Bloodstone Garden, the Rick P. Breeding Research Base, the Rare Ignored Creature Protection Institute, Tan Yu University, and SPI. Among them, the RICPI is the most active branch, which most of the large quantities of anomalous creatures contained by the Foundation. The dissection of its members' corpses shows that there are about deep types of parasites, of which 30% are rarely recorded, and the other 70% are never discovered before. Currently, the anonymous items 
retrieved from the SPI are mostly anonymous creatures contained by the SPI of from its life protection zones, and some of the other anomalous items are transferred to the front companies or containment sites of the Foundation through unknown methods by the SPI. The Foundation should be alerted of the SPI spies within the organization. It is known that the conflict between the SPI and the Foundation have all occurred when the Foundation tried to contain the anonymous objects before they have yet shown negative effects. When the anonymous objects have caused negative effects, the SPI members will assist the members of the Foundation for containment procedures. Some information shows that what was thought to be the different consisting organizations of the SPI may be different departments of the SPI, but the SPI's special management system and its high information management ability has kept a suspicion unconfirmed. The Association of the Abnormality Amateurs Overview The Association of the Abnormality Amateurs, abbreviated AAA in the rest of the document, is a small organization of no more than 20 members, or unknown with the exception of a certain Gierke, who used their relatively limited knowledge of the anomalous to assemble and create singular artifacts for their own use or to offer these to the Foundation. These anonymous artifacts are mostly unstable, tend to explode easily, and are unreliable at best. In addition, they are composed of salvaged or poor quality materials, leading to their precarious structure and random nature. It is therefore advisable to be very careful when discovering, handling, or studying these anomalous artifacts, as the multiple design flaws make them unpredictable most of the time. However, once these gaps are corrected, when possible, these artifacts can be surprisingly useful. Some of these are being further studied to determine whether they can be replicated in sufficient quantities to equip some departments. The complete list is available upon request from Dr. McKisset, the current head of the research about this group of interests. The items are usually accompanied by a letter vaguely describing the effects in a pseudo-scientific language largely inspired by popular science fiction works, making their interpretation extremely hazardous. It is also often mentioned the desire of this organization to help the SCP Foundation by providing little things that could make your life easier. The reasons behind this are currently unknown. A lack of mention from other groups of interest, as well as the naivete about the Foundation's monopoly on the anomalous world scene, seems to point to a total ignorance of other organizations in this field. No Foundation sites have reported receiving anomalous artifacts or letters from the AAA outside of metropolitan France. The African Office of Occult Affairs Overview Created by Louis-Philippe I in 1830, during the few months that followed the Alga Siege, the African Office of Occult Affairs, the AOOA, was a government organization in charge of collecting, managing, studying, and exploiting the anomalous in France's African colonies. Officially dependent on the Ministry of Occult Affairs, then on the Estate Noir, the AOOA actually acted almost autonomously and had important military and scientific resources at their disposal compared to other branches of the French occult administration. The AOOA's doctrine was based on the absolute defense of the French paranormal interests in Africa. Thus, it engaged in an unbridled competition against other national or private groups of interest present on the continent including the SCP Foundation. It was not rare for these conflicts of interest to degenerate until they endangered the diplomatic relations of France and the Ministry of Occult Affairs, or even the security of civilian populations the AOA was supposed to protect through its actions. The AOA was at its peak during the interwar period, 
It was during this period that the administration of the office made the greatest use of troops from the French Coat Regiment or the Colonial Gandestre to achieve its goals. As the main anonymous organization of Free France, it actively participated in the resistance after the defeat of 1940 and in the liberation of the metropolis within the occult allied coalition. The African Office of Occult Affairs was definitely dissolved in 1962 following Algeria gaining independence. Its resources were recovered by the Estate Noir or sold to other organizations such as the SCP Foundation or Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Some of its members are also recruited by the Foundation, the Missionary Organization Primordial, the GOC or the Chaos Insurgency. The French National Gendrestry Overview Paranormal counterpart of the National Gendarmerie The Gendrestry is a secret armed force operating under the authority of the Ministry of Internal Affairs in charge of protecting the population and dissimulating anomalies in the French territory. Formed during the infamous Affaire d'Orgon d'Estre in 1844, the Gendre played a repressive role which, combined with the military scientific role of the Singular Imperial Academy, ensured the monopoly of the French state on abnormal affairs. Surviving the end of the empire, the Gendestry became a respected institution of the Republic, dedicated to safeguarding France from the most unthinkable threats. After a golden age in the Bell de Book and a dark age under Fiji France, the Gendestry entered during the second half of the 20th century in an increasingly marked decline. Unable to adapt to the evolution of paracriminality and competing with the opening of France to international organizations such as the Foundation, in the early 21st century, its outdated equipment, overstretched staff, and budgetary restraint made the Gendrestre quite inefficient and Gendrestres are now limited in fighting against power delinquency and possible investigative work in cases that do not comply with conventional fiscal laws. However, the organization maintains close collaboration with the Mavalut, the Gapen, and Estate Noir, the French government division in charge of the conservation of esoteric artifacts. Although the relationship between the Gunderstry and the SCP Foundation has been very different in the past. The two organizations are now on relatively good terms. Even though Foundation officers still frequently encounter difficulties in working with the more chauvinistic members of the French law enforcement. The Humanist Gentleman Overview The Humanist Gentleman, commonly referred to as Gentleman, take root in a humanist organization of the second half of the 18th century, created by John Petit Ravine, the Corville, and the Baron Jorbock. The aim of this organization has always been to improve the human condition through abnormalities and to reach the ideal of the better man. That gentlemen see abnormalities as a natural process to which mankind has to get used to, and thus formed the Neo Enlightenment movement. The humanist gentlemen are currently present in Western Europe, but mostly in France. The gentlemen strongly denounce the destruction of SCP objects, as well as the containment of harmless anomalies, in addition to the fight for the fundamental rights of anomalous individuals. The gentlemen's activities mostly revolved around research and creation of anomalies that could improve the human condition. Mobile Task Force Tau 3, the King's Regiment, was created in order to efficiently fight against these anomalies and arrest their creators. Nevertheless, the gentlemen are very discreet on the anomalous international scene, even though they seem extremely active on the underground anomalous stage. 
and gathering intelligence on the way the organization works proves to be difficult. The gentlemen are not hostile to the Foundation and have shown respect towards its achievements, but claim to be ideologically irreconcilable. Moreover, they have successfully infiltrated the French branch on several occasions, but always by convincing one of its employees to work with them. Any individual suspected to be part of or to work with the gentleman is to be apprehended for further interrogation. Nemo and Anoculus Overview Nemo and Anoculus is a group claiming to be openly hostile to the Foundation and its interests, but possesses limited resources and staff. This handicap tends to limit its offensive capabilities, but its attacks are often very calculated, based on a broad knowledge of the Foundation containment methods, and generally making more or less supported references to the book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. These attacks most often take the form of info hazards or memetic objects specifically and explicitly designed to damage the Foundation, and conceived by the perpetrators in such a way that they cannot be contained or neutralized by conventional methods, or cannot or should not be manipulated by individuals working knowingly for the SCP Foundation. The founder individual of the group, presenting himself as Nemo, was originally an employee of the Foundation, but details about them are closely linked to a series of incidents that took place between 1980 and 2011, and whose records are currently classified as an attempt to dissolve the Foundation from within. It is currently unknown who is at the head of Nemo and the Noctilus or even if it is one or more people. One thing is certain, the group's attacks on the Foundation are more brazen, but of more limited ambition, and are generally aimed at revealing the Foundation's existence to the general public, rather than simply destroying it. Any trace of activity by Nemo and Anoctilus must be immediately reported to a Level 4 staff member with Octopus accreditation so that they can take appropriate measures, involve the mobile task force, and initiate the application of the Octopus Protocol. The Order of Light The Order of Light seems to be an angel of death which tempts humanity by presenting it with the apple of immortality. Its appearance worries us, its intentions are obscure, and its promises seduce us. So we resolutely plunge our gaze into it, trying in vain to understand its schemes, and we succumb to it. Because of all the abysses we know, none seem brighter to us than the one we saw there. Overview The Order of Light presents itself as an ultra-religion, devoting unfailing adoration to all forms of normal and supernatural life and aspires to transcend all physical and ideological distinctions in order to unite all beings inhabiting the earth under its sole banner. If its ancient existence as an esoteric counterpart of the legendary Order of the Temple is certain, it is assumed that its origins are much older still. The Order of Light has currently emerged from the shadows of occult organizations and shows a disturbing willingness to massively recruit new followers who until now seem to be approached only by initiates in the greatest secrecy. While this organization is suspected of having infiltrated all levels of society and most political and religious decision-making spheres in the Western and Eastern world, the Order of Light which claims to be peaceful and philanthropic, has never sought to oppose or interfere with the Foundation or any other group of interest. The organization never appears to have been involved in any crime, offense or scandal, thus legitimizing its existence on the world scene and all the more seducing the population by its apparent purity. Any contact with its members is strictly forbidden because of the alienation practices and a crucial lack of information about the Order's motivations. 
any individual suspected of being a member of the order must be immediately reported to MTF Omega-1, Order of Holiness. Primordial Overview Initially a simple group of mercenaries like so many others, Primordial evolved into a major player in its field following the arrival of SCP-194-FRF, also known as Train Timeless, at its head, which marked the beginning of Primordial's policy of interference in the affairs of its competitors. Primordial arbitrated several conflicts between major mercenary organizations, resulting in a growing influence far greater than that of other groups. The combination of this newly acquired authority was undoubtedly the signing of the Casablanca Agreement in 1950, by which Primordial imposed on the abnormal mercenary system a strict code of ethics that it continues to apply and enforce today. Maintaining the secrecy surrounding the existence of the abnormal, establishing elementary moral and ethical principles, accepting the abnormal, common policy aimed at preserving the environment from internal and external threats. Since the disappearance of SCP-194-FRF in the 1960s, Primordial has been led by the primates, whose exact number is unknown, and are the main contact of the SCP Foundation within the mercenary movement. The two organizations have also established a form of cooperation, through the delivery of abnormal objects and individuals by Primordial to the Foundation. Nevertheless, Primordial cannot be considered as a trustworthy interlocutor in general, as it does not hide from serving its own interests above all else. Society of Atheists for the Protection from the Perilous and Hindering Institutionalized Religions Everywhere Sapphire Overview the Society of Atheists for the Protection from the Perilous and Hindering Institutionalized Religions Everywhere, more commonly known under its acronym, Sapphire, is a group of extremist, asetoic atheists. Largely present in Europe, its adherents are, for the most part, members of the scientific community belonging to an international network that is difficult to discern. These people see SCP objects, which they call singularities, as a threat to scientific thinking and rationalism, thus encouraging superstition and religious obscurantism. Their policy varies between the systematic destruction of SCP objects and their use as weapons to perpetrate acts of terrorism against religion, global or more, aimed at certain objectives. Surface attacks mainly involved large masses of civilians without any attempt at discretion. This forces the foundation this forces the foundation to deploy extreme dissimulation protocols after every strike. Mobile Task Force Omega 5, the jewelers, had been created with the specific purpose of tracking, preventing, or in case of failure, camouflaging their attacks. Sapphire is in constant conflict with any and all forms of the occult, may they be normal or paranormal. Having numerous contacts in the scientific world, some Foundation researchers have been discovered as undercover affiliates of the group, even if Sapphire generally respects the Foundation and its objectives. The group disapproves of the Foundation's conservation policy in regards to SCP objects, and some spies have already been captured after having tried to destroy or otherwise recover contained SCPs for their own personal interests. Each and every undercover agent of Sapphire must be reported, captured, and interrogated regarding the inner workings of the society and their future attacks. Universe Island Kingdom Overview The Universe Island Kingdom is an anomalous civilization established on a floating island in an extra-dimensional reality that appears to be completely empty sky. The inhabitants, the Islands, are ruled by King Marion II, who reigns over the seven dukedoms 
constituting the territory of the kingdom from its chief town, Senator. Noticed by the SCP Foundation at the beginning of the 20th century, following the numerous appearances of its explorers on Earth, the kingdom was discovered to have existed, in fact, since the beginning of the 18th century. The group of interest had its origins in the town of Saint-Gerain in Savoy, where, in the 1720s, its inhabitants discovered cracks in the sky leading to Universe Island. They then started to build towers to join them and colonize the island in order to found a new city due to the numerous resources that abounded there. Realizing quickly that the place was anomalous, the members of the Catholic Church on site were hostile to the construction project. Esoteric factions of the church sent their troops to Sengren in order to destroy the towers and thus confine the inhabitants within Universe Island. All traces of the city's existence were removed by the Catholic Church shortly after these events. To survive in Universe Island, the former inhabitants of Sanguine had to learn how to use and control the anomalous resources that surrounded them. Freed from the constraints of the old world, they named a king and built a kingdom. This extra-dimensional isolation forced the Arlenes to live in an entirely anomalous based society. New inventions, currents of thought, and religions such as the Church of the Heavenly Vault emerged there. At the beginning of the 20th century, a group of Arlenes developed a portal technology allowing travel between the Universe Island and the Earth. As a result, Marion II and his advisors set up many means to, to inculcate to the Arlenes a feeling of superiority with regard to the Wordians, their word for us, and to foresee future conquests of the Earth. In reaction to the King's decisions, a movement advocating peace with the Earth was created, the Nunes Leelism. Nowadays, the Foundation manages to limit the dimensional exchanges between the Earth and Infra's Island. A collaboration has been established with Unicelist Arlenes. Any non Unicelist Arlenes found on Earth must be captured, interrogated, and eliminated. Argus Incorporated Overview An acronym for Autonomic Recon Group with Undefined Specialization. An American company engaged in leasing or selling well-trained soldiers and heavy military equipment, training militias and producing potent psychotropic drugs and other stimulants. It works undercover as a private security company, mostly undertaking recon tasks and guerrilla operations. Though there are also records of them involved in larger, more well-known conflicts, the company's history, along with their client's personal data, remains unknown. Argus has often fallen into conflict with governments due to many civilian casualties attributed to them, including particularly brutal murders of civilians. The company is able to procure highly dangerous anonymous military equipment from an unknown source. Most often, they help gain the advantage in battle, though they also harm their users. The anomalies are not produced by the company. The exact number and level of danger to these objects remains unknown. Most of the objects acquired by the Foundation came from Area 13, a former facility located in Beep, Poland. The company is in continuous conflict with an unknown organization called the Creators. They have limited their activities after taking over a Polish research complex. They remain under constant foundation surveillance due to their high potential danger. Toponian Cult Overview A cult formed in 19 Beep by Anthony Borowski and Zarazova Vola. This cult organizes concerts of anomalous nature. They are responsible for Beep anomalous manifestations on Beep civilians. The cult's objective is continue the work of the great composer. The gathered information suggests that the cult members gather once a year at an established location and attempt 
to summon Frederick Chopin. The contest who will be the closest to recreating Chopin's work receives a gift from God in the form of incurable tuberculosis. Capturing the members of the cult is advised in order to get the information about the time and place of the next ceremony. All information of piano concerts are to be treated as a nominous concert of the cult. At the moment, two factions of the Toponian cult are known, Neo-Toponians, using genres other than classical music to praise Frederick Chopin and cause anomalous effects, and bloody Toponian cult, which anomalous manifestations, unlike the main cult objects, can kill listeners. The Polish Anomalous Mushroom Picking Association, PZGA. Overview, an organization formed probably in late 17th or early 19th century, dealing with collecting, processing, and trafficking of anomalous mushrooms and the derivatives. The estimated number of members is currently beep. The association seems to be active mostly in southern Poland, especially in Subcarpathian, Silesian, and Szykokreski warfordships, where the most important transactions take place. The organization's main source of profit is trafficking anomalous mushrooms and their products, psychoactive substances and biological weapons. In case of discovering such a transaction, reaction forces should be sent to the scene. Approximately once per three months, the association organizes a mushroom picking tournament to gather the greatest number of anomalous mushrooms, but the exact rules are not known. After the tournament is finished, the so-called Harvest Festival takes place. When the partaker's harvest is taken away, the people who manage to pick the most mushrooms receive the offer of employment from the PZGA. The organization also employs staff with mycological background, recruiting mostly from members of the Polish Mycological Association. Brother-in-law and brother-in-law motorized. Overview. An organization pretending to be a civil law company founded in the early 21st century deals in production, modification, and trade of anomalous means of transport. Probably works in order to raise funds for a project unknown by the foundation. It was confirmed that every transaction carried out by the organization must be confirmed by a contract if it involves persons from outside the organization. It is unknown why, because the documents have no legal force or anomalous properties. The largest activity of the organization is observed in the Masoveki Voivodeship, but it covers the entire country. On motorization forms, the group has achieved a status of an urban legend which increases the possible range of influence it has. It is possible that through such forms, they find buyers for the products. It is officially known about the existence of two members of the group, but the existence of a grid that helps in conducting its operation is not excluded. IT specialists searching for all engines of the organization managed to find a fanatic group believing that the company's work are gifts from God and the creators themselves are the saviors of the world. This group has about be members, but there is no confirmation that they are all members. No evidence was found that they had a real relationship with the company, but they should still be observed. Home Wonders Limited Overview An organization dealing with creating anomalous often dangerous items of everyday use and distributing them to the public. The group usually creates objects which try to improve the life of their users, but are often very faulty and do not work properly. Its structure as well as its goals and production methods are not known. It was first discovered in 2006 after the containment of scp beep z Currently, foundation operations are focused on identifying the organizational structure and gathering all info possible. Because of Home Wonders' large market share, 
emphasis is put on containing the products and controlling contractors. Notable is the fact that HW is not a limited company, or even a company at all, as it is not registered anywhere. The source of their cost covering revenue as well as their methods of hiring are currently unknown. There are no records of the group's assets or affairs outside Polish borders. All attempts at exports have been intercepted by the Foundation. WWW Overview WWW as a group with unknown structure, members, motivations, and goals. Presumably, it is interested in Foundation research of anomalous objects and anomalies themselves. All attempts at infiltration of WWW by Foundation teams have failed. The group is responsible for beep confirmed and suspected of beep hacker attacks on database of the Polish branch. Sabotage of facilities also took place. Other branches, mainly ones operating in the European areas, also reported incidents that could indicate the group's involvement. Due to an attack on site beep, all present members of WWW died. However, only 16 were eliminated by Foundation forces. The rest committed suicide during capture attempts. It was the first and, to this date, the only situation of a direct attack from WWW's side. The possibility of eliminating the entire group during this attack has been denied. The current top priority is to identify and capture any member of this group. The Untellus Society for the Renewal of the Human Spirit Overview, a group of interest discovered by the Hispanic branch of the Foundation. The Untellus Society is an organization of similar characteristics to masonry dedicated to esotericism and a study of the occult. Founded in 1953 by Claudine Aperin, this secret society believes in the existence of the Great Masters, intelligences or entities alien to this physical plane that seek to guide humanity to a new golden age. Described as a world where war, poverty, prejudices of all kinds will disappear, and full equality between men will be achieved. The Untold Society considers certain SCPs to be means of contact with these greater intelligences, such as SCP-ES-011 and SCP-ES-051. The Untellus Society seeks to acquire these SCPs through various methods, either monetary, buying them, or using more aggressive means, such as theft, kidnapping, or extortion. Its members come from all social strata, professions, and nationalities, but they have in common a certain level of education, interest in mysticism, and a clear disagreement with the current world situation. The Unter Society maintains good relations with the Chaos Insurgency and with Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Trading various SCPs among them has tense relations with the Church of the Broken God and an openly aggressive stance towards the Foundation, referred to Incident AS-065235. There is no knowledge of the nature of their interactions with other GRI. The Cult of the Great Green God Overview An anomalous religion that arose in the ancient Egyptian Empire at some point during the 12th dynasty centered on the worship of an entity of vegetal nature called the Great Green God, apparently extinct for nearly two millennia. This cult has recently experienced a resurgence, especially in South America, in the form of small groups often linked to extreme ecological movements and even eco-terrorists, often also linked to anomalies of vegetal nature. The Foundation is in possession of SCP-ES-041, an artifact of great importance for the cult. Special Security Commission Overview 
organism of the Franco regime of Spain instituted in 1938 from a specialized body of the Councils of the National Syndicalist Offensive, the JONS, and set as a secret organization of the Information Service of the Defense High Command, with the field name Second Bis. Its operations focused on the detection, capture, exploitation, and dismantling of anomalies from a perspective strongly biased towards the national Catholic and authoritarian values of the regime. The organism turns out to be impervious to the efforts of foreign organisms to infiltrate it, including the Foundation. It became part of the Foundation with all its anomalous resources in 1977. With the disintegration of the Information Department and a notable evolution in values, statutes, and personnel. The Cuban Ministry of Anomalies Overview The Cuban Ministry of Anomalies, hereinafter referred to as CMA, was a Cuban-based occult organization. Instead of focusing on the containment of anomalies, the CMA was largely concerned with turning any anomaly within its scope into a tool for war, espionage, or the production of material goods. Anomalies that could not be used for any of the above purposes were often neutralized or traded to the Soviet Union in exchange for material goods. The CMA was severely weakened after the fall of the Soviet Union and grew P, and even more so after the death of Fidel Castro. Although the organization is considered to have disappeared in modern times, a small resistance cell has been reported to exist in rural Venezuela. The Civilian Overview The Civilian is the name of several large civilian protest groups across Southeast Asia that have taken a strong stance against the presence of anomalies in their countries. Although they have occasionally used anomalous objects in secret, members of the civilian generally seek to destroy anomalies or counteract their effects. This protest movement began in 1981, but has become more violent in recent years. It is believed that the core of the group is composed of individuals who have some resistance to anomalous effects and or foundation amnestic techniques. Membership is scattered across Southeast Asia. It is not known whether the civilian has a headquarters or any centralized leadership. The civilian's current goals include expanding their membership and building their power base, acquiring anonymous objects and entities either peacefully or by theft, and the destruction of those anonymous objects that they cannot acquire. The unpredictability and poor planning of these actions often result in numerous casualties, both among their membership and among bystanders. The civilian also operates an informal school that teaches its members to both contain and destroy anomalies. It is possible that the civilian has support from some as yet unknown outside group, possibly a defunct political party which gives them access to trained personnel, finances, and information. The civilian has occasionally sent requests to the Foundation regarding the purchase of anomalous objects. These requests were refused. After this refusal, the Foundation became the civilian's primary target, and a number of violent actions taken by protest groups against Foundation facilities. Although the civilian's wide base of support makes the complete eradication of this group impossible. The threat posed by the civilian to the Foundation is not high. The civilian is like a nest of insects. If there were few of them, they are merely an annoyance. And if they are many, we can simply fumigate their lives to call their numbers. The real question is, how many of these hives are there? The Millionaire Mr. Royer Overview Mr. Royer is a mysterious individual who is a major financial backer of the Thai branch of the SCP Foundation. 
The Foundation has little information about his identity or motives. He is believed to be a British millionaire who lives much of his time in Thailand and a source of a number of anomalous donations to the Foundation. His actual place of residence is unknown, but he owns a number of properties in Thailand, including some which have been connected to anomalous activity. The man himself has never been conclusively identified. His son and heir, Jason Royer, is currently an associate of Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Their relationship is likely strained. The Association of Mutants Overview The Association of Mutants is a group composed of sapient anomalous entities, most of whom have escaped or evaded the Foundation and other groups with an interest in containing, destroying, or utilizing the paranormal. The main goal of the Association of Mutants is the creation of an independent community of anomalous individuals. The Hidden City, concealed somewhere in the jungles of Southeast Asia. This community is largely self-regulating. Individuals or objects which cause problems for the community are banished from the Hidden City. While the exact location of this community has not yet been determined, a number of anomalous entities claiming to have been cast out of the community have been captured and contained. While the Association of Mutants has not directly clashed with the Foundation, any attempt to capture or contain members of the organization will be met with resistance. The number of members and the danger posed by these individuals is currently unknown. However, it is likely that at some future point, the Association of Mutants will pose a risk to the Foundation or to nearby civilian populations. The Association of Black Magic Power Users Overview The Association of Black Magic Power Users is a group composed of black magicians, also known as Thaumaturts, or Tight Blues by the Global Occult Coalition. Members come from a number of countries and have access to a wide variety of anomalous objects. The Association of Black Magic Power Users was founded by Beep, the leader of a group of black magicians from Thailand. Originally, the group's activities and membership were limited to Southeast Asia. Nowadays, their membership and influence is global in scale. As a result of the association's widespread influence, members have access to a wide variety of magical techniques and anomalous objects. Members of the Association of Black Magic Power Users have approached the Foundation for the purpose of purchasing anomalous objects, specifically those such as SCP-001-TH and SCP-666-TH that are especially interesting to the Association. In exchange, the Association offered to stop seeking revenge for Association members and anomalies killed or captured by the Foundation. The Foundation refused, and members of the group have continued to attack Foundation personnel and attempt to steal anomalous objects in Foundation containment. Attacks on Foundation personnel by members of the Association of Black Magic Power Users often take the form of cursed items, especially food and beverages. Personnel who believe they may have received any items from members of the association are to bring those items to the Foundation for examination of their anomalous effect. If any individual who are suspected to be members of the association are located, they are to be reported to the O5 Council immediately. The Aesthetic of Music Sound Overview The Aesthetic of Music Sound is a corporation known for producing musical anomalies. It was founded by Ulrich Merlstein, an Austrian musician. Merlstein's granddaughter is married to the grandson of the founder of Knowing Publishing. After establishing his company in the Austrian market, Merlstein used his profit to expand globally, first into Thailand. The aesthetic of Music Sound's headquarters or bases of operations in Thailand or in other countries have not been located. Merlstein has also founded a music school.
the school foundation of aesthetic, which teaches anonymous musical techniques and encourages students to use these techniques in public performances and competitions. Individuals associated with the aesthetic of music sound have demonstrated immunity to musical and auditory anomalies. The exact number of anomalies in the possession of the aesthetic of music sound is unknown. The only object created by the aesthetic of music sound currently in foundation possession is SCP-030TH, recovered from the redacted concert. The aesthetic of music sound declared their opposition to the foundation after the foundation contained an anomaly they created. They generally act with hostility to any groups that seize anomalies over which they claim ownership. The aesthetic of music sound occasionally attempts to reclaim anomalies in foundation containment, which they have created or previously owned. The aesthetic of music sound generally allows individuals associated with Knowing Publishing to Use Their Anomalies Knowing Publishing Overview Very little is known about Knowing Publishing. It is presumably an anomalous publishing factory which and distributes both print and digital media. The Foundation knew the information from the relatives of the founder of the factory that the actual factory of Knowing Publishing is not located in this world, but in the parallel world which is the same as SCP-206th. It is called KP at PU5. Note, we call the world which we live in as PU1. However, the relatives of the founder of the factory have the actual home and paper factory in Thailand and being non-anomalous. No one knows that how the publishing sent anomalous objects into this world, but it is believed that it is possible to have the equipment which its ability is the same as scp 206 th and more effective than it. No one knows who published the media. The media which are produced will have fake pseudonyms and address, including names in the criticism pages of some books. They will produce the media as the customer's order, which are informed in the leaflet which are often found in the library or places where are for donating books by claiming that they are free. Media also have more copies than the requested amount, and some of the copies will be published or placed in public with other people noticing. According to found leaflet materials, they also produce the media at cost, and their effects will be more effective than free materials. Japan Organisms Improvement and Creation Laboratory, J-O-I-C-L Overview Japan Organisms Improvement and Creation Laboratory has been mentioned in several cases involving anomalous creatures, including a wide range of life forms, such as animals, plants, and objects which behave like creatures. As almost all of the creatures manifest anomalous properties or additional functions which cannot be achieved in nature or explained with ordinary modern science, the lab does not seem to be restricted by general ethics. It is thought to be a research facility or a group of researchers possessing some kind of technology, but its actual situation has not been grasped yet. Initially, it was thought that there was no direct distribution or sale of the anomalies that the Japan Organisms Improvement and Creation Laboratory created, but in rare cases, the organization has been confirmed to sell their creations as commercial products, such as SCP-483-JP or SCP-1919-JP. However, its organizational purpose remains unknown. Tohei Heavy Industries Overview Tohei Heavy Industries is considered to be a group involved in manufacture of artifacts whose mechanism cannot be explained by modern science. To date, many related materials have been collected by the Foundation, but the detailed organizational structure and purpose thereof have not yet been clarified. 
Many foundation researchers speculate that Tohei Heavy Industries' activity are mainly conducted in Japan. Since this group's collected materials suggest that they actively provide anomalous technology to non-members of their own group, this group has to be dealt with as soon as possible. Shushuin Overview Shushuin was a Japanese organization that collected the anomalous items known as SCP objects to the Foundation. They had used non-scientific methods utilizing the augury, magic, and religion, mainly Shinto and Shugendo. Some of the procedures were valuable and have been taken over as special containment procedures by the Foundation. After the Foundation strengthened its influence in Japan, most of the members were absorbed by the Foundation and other GORIs. But radicals within Shujuin still retain collected objects and have hidden them away in hopes of restoring the organization. Psycho Factions Overview Psycho Factions are organizations consisting of, of POI called Lokumi Saigar and his followers. Lokumi Saigar refers to himself as a scientist majoring in space time physics and is an unidentified person who seems to have conducted his activities in multiple parallel universes. The purpose of the activity is believed to be to save the target universes and human beings belonging to them. Saigasan seems to hide many abnormal items brought from various parallel universes, but searching for them has yielded scarce results. Saigasan has probably gained knowledge about the Foundation and other groups related to abnormal objects in the process of going back and forth in the parallel universes and pays close attention to hiding himself from each organization. Saigasan has a certain number of human followers in several parallel universes. The followers are referred to as Psycho Factions and basically friendly to humanity. However, the human beings refer to human beings of all universes, including the parallel universes. So often Psycho Factions' activities seriously damage the present universes to which the Foundation belongs. Since Psycho Factions do not stick to the present universes, they will act without hesitation to save more mankind and universes, even if they anticipate the damage to the present universes. For this reason, the Foundation has designated Psycho Factions as groups of interest. Doctor Overview Doctor is an individual or group that imitates the activities of other groups of interest. A lot of objects imitating group of interest, Doctor One Entertainment have been confirmed and there are examples that imitate the Factory and Japan Organisms Improvement and Creation Laboratory. Most of the objects created by Doctor cause harm to users, although the reason for their activity is unknown. Despite the consequences of their actions, it is suggested that they are motivated by the need to have fun. The Imperial Japanese Army Special Medical Force Unit Negative Numbers Overview The Imperial Japanese Army Special Medical Force was an Imperial Japanese Army unit which researched the occult and technology founded in 1937 under the cooperation of the Army and Shushuin. As a common name, it was given the code name Unit Negative Numbers. The unit was composed of three divisions, Tsuchikumo, Jofuku, and Tadaktala, which conducted researches mainly on magic, life science, and mechanical engineering respectively. The purpose of the organization is to research and produce weapons by a combination of magic and science, including Project Kochijiku, aiming to create immortal soldiers. These weapons were not mass-produced, however, some were used in the actual war. In 1945, the organization was dismantled and most of its technology was collected by the Foundation after the end of World War II. Salesperson Miyoko Overview Salesperson Miyoko is an individual or a group that sells and offers beauty-related products or services with anomalous characteristics. 
most of the products have common points, such as for women and pink colored package, but something not in the category of beauty and good for men have also been confirmed. Most of the products have the effect of solving the user's troubles, but cause serious damage to them in terms of side effects. Sales person meal co-selling method covers a wide range including advertisement in department stores and door-to-door -door sales. Although the appearance at the time of sale is a suit clothing, there are several different reports on the physical characteristics. Records show that salesperson Miyoko indicated belonging to an organization called Iwanaka Beauty Association. Drunkness Street Overview Drunkness Street, probably a big residential district, is a place located in a parallel universe or extra dimension. The foundation have found and contained several anomalies thought to be from Drunkness Street. In addition, there are several bidirectionally passing transit dimension connected with our world and Drunkness Street discovered. These are all discovered in Koto Prefecture, but not exclusively existing there. Well, a part of groups of interest have been collecting knowledge about Drunkness Street. The foundation holds little information regarding Drunkness Street. In most of the transit dimensions reside sapient entities, according to which the existential concept is drunkenness, oblivion, stagnation. These keywords can be found spread in the data gained with investigation. Although residents in the transit dimension do not agree with the concept, they currently do not show the tendency to be proactively against it or to move to either Drunkness Street or our world. So far, the Foundation and Drunkness Street are not in conflict with each other. It is even unknown whether Drunkness Street has perceived the Foundation in the first place. To prevent unpredictable events, the Foundation has established an ants off system, basically prohibiting access towards Drunkness Street. However, several agents or D-Class had invaded into Drunkness Street without permission or before the hands off system was not well established. The cases which managed to come back were very few. The Japanese Anonymous Group's Peace and Empathy Treaty Organization Overview The Japanese Anonymous Group's Peace and Empathy Treaty Organization is a group of interest formed on a legal basis provided by the treaty with the same title made by the Foundation and the Global Co Coalition with the Japanese government. The Foundation, as one of the major organizations holding the membership, exerted great influence on this group of interest. Although it began as a supervisor to keep Japanese government institutions intensifying arbitrary operations in check, its current role seems to carry a growing range of responsibility. Nowadays, it mainly mediates between member groups while conflicts occur, peacefully deal with clashes between each organization. Sometimes it assists member groups to collaborate, having contributed to the formation of large-scale allied forces. That said, it has been pointed out that it is possible for the organization to be related to anomalies out of the Foundation's control or to leak information to the government. The Foundation will build a cooperative relationship as a member group while investigation is ongoing. Sekiru Club Overview The Sekiru Club is a secret society which is active in Kyoto. Having been confirmed to have existed since the mid-19th century, they have a taste for human flesh and call human flesh pomegranate in connection with the tale of Kishimochi. There can be a maximum of 10 members in the Sekiru Club at a time. Each of the members succeeds to the name of Hashidume, Shiina, Rokaku, Hayase, Yusuki, Tojo, Funakoshi, Akitsu, Tiduka, and Ukita. If a vacancy occurs due to withdrawal, death, or expulsion, a new person will be invited. 
so the same name does not mean the same person. They purpose to enjoy capitalism and hold regular meetings. The organizational identity beyond interactions is not clear, previously considered not to be a threat to the foundation. However, recent researchers suggest a relation to anomalies and active involvement with other GOIs, so more detailed information is required. Dreaming Technology Overview the Dreaming Technology is a group that produces and sells anomalous objects. Although the specific purpose and philosophy of the activity are currently unknown, they mainly commit to fulfilling someone's wishes and future dreams. Investigation so far has confirmed that they use unknown technologies and the anomalies generated by them to realize someone's wishes or dreams. However, in many instances, they modify or erase something important about the subject. Memories, body, close persons, are surprised to fulfill their dreams. Due to it, there are cases that the subject has a different ending to the wishes or dreams originally desired. The foundation is strongly vigilant against them because some of their anomalies cause great damage to general society. The dreaming technology is mainly advertised through local newspapers and internet advertisements. Some instances are reported that they do individual sales for people with strong wishes or desires. Active cooperation with other GOIs has also been confirmed, but the full details are unknown. In addition, investigations are currently underway on the grounds that there was a possibility that information about the inside of the Foundation may have been obtaining in some way due to anomalous items were also detected at a front company of the Foundation in the past. Trismegistus Translation and Transportation Overview Trismegistus Translation and Transportation is comprised of intelligent anomalous existences, and is an organization that takes the form of a company. Most of the existences have been confirmed as a member to date call themselves names related to myths and folklores around the world. For example, the individual serving as company president self-proclaims Hermes, who is a Greek mythology deity, and the individual serving as vice president self-proclaims Thoth, who is an Egyptian mythological deity. The businesses that have been identified so far range from translation, tourism, food and beverage, communication service, resort, and many others. And there are estimated to be many unconfirmed businesses. These businesses are expected to have anomalous existences similar to themselves as their main customers, and they have cultural backgrounds from various regions and times. As a result, the languages used in their businesses have been identified as extinct ancient languages, rare minority languages, and liturgical languages, which are recognized as valuable linguistic research material. This organization has a neutral or friendly attitude towards the Foundation and human society. And to date, there have been no confirmed possession or use of anomalies produced with clear hostility. On the other hand, there is a high likelihood that the anomalous businesses will be exposed to the public. And for the preservation of normalcy, the Foundation considers this organization to be an object of alarm. Koigalezaki Shimbun Overview The Koigalezaki Shimbun is a news organization that disseminates information about current events in paranormal society, primarily went through the medium of web news and disseminates information to an unspecified number of members of the public that should be kept confidential in the view of preservation of normalcy. Especially against the Foundation, report from an adversarial view is evident, and articles involving the Foundation include fabrications, and biased reporting. Koikarezaki, where the Koikarezaki Shinbun is based, is a location of interest designated as LI 0850. 
Koi Galisaki exists in a different dimension where it is unknown how to travel, and is home to many former members of several GOIs. The majority of members of the Koi Galisaki Shinbun are to be former members of GOIs too. As a result, the Koi Galisaki Shinbun has special connections with other GOIs, and is able to produce its own anomalies using technology derived from other groups. These factors make the Foundation difficult to deter the actions of the Kalikalisaki Shinbun. Kisaraki Construction Overview The Kisaraki Construction is mentioned by a number of anomalous buildings and related products. Although there is testimony that they describe themselves as a small private construction company in the Tohoku region, a number of unnatural examples as for profit organizations have been identified and the purpose of their activities is not clear. Although they are proactive in response to their clients' requirement when producing and building, their deliverables have in many cases had unintended negative effects on the parties involved. It is unknown whether this is due to differences in values with the public view or whether it is based on clear intentions, such as intent to harm. There are many unknown details about the activities of Kizalaki construction, and the information has been able to obtain so far is limited. However, there are some materials and testimonies that relate to Oni, found in old Japanese traditions, and there are also many traces of magic and unusual effects that have not yet been clarified. The Foundation is currently investigating the actual state of this organization, its members, and its relationship with the outside world. The Confederate Island Countries of Phantom Overview The Confederate Island Countries of Phantom is a federated nation of islands that exist in a different world. The member islands existed in our world until around the 14th to the 16th century, but they made the move to a different world for reasons such as to escape the investigation and colonization by great powers. Based on this event, the legend of the Phantom Island that is an island that was once described in nocturnal charts, but whose existence was denied by the research of later generations was born. In the world of the CICP, there are a group of unusual items called relics, and especially powerful items are called with the initials of T, and are used for the defense of the member islands. The move of the member islands is also due to relics, which are said to have been transferred from a paranormal civilization aid known as Theo. Theo is said to have disappeared after the formation of the CICP and no details are known to the inhabitants of the member islands. The world of the CICP in our world are still able to come and go in multiple ways. Anomalous entities originating from the world of the CICP have also been discovered, and there have been cases of damage to the surroundings. It is unclear what the inhabitants of the member islands think of their former homeland. But depending on future development, it has been designated as a GOI because it could become a threat. The Special Affairs Division, Public Security Bureau of Metropolitan Police Department. Overview The Special Affairs Division, or simply SAD, Public Security Bureau of Metropolitan Police Department, is an undercover investigative agency within the Metropolitan Police Department organized to deal with abnormal phenomena and paranormal crimes. SAD is under the control of the Special Affairs Investigation Bureau of National Police Agency, which is a member of the JAPATO and is indirectly influenced by the policies of the Japanese government and JGPATO. Their main activities are aimed at grasping trends and restraining the behavior of GOIs throughout Japan, mitigating the impact of anomalous entities on society, and protecting the general public from threatening anomalies, 
but due to bureaucratic issues and lack of financial resources, personnel and equipment, their activities are often difficult. The Foundation is building a cooperative system with SAD, but the mutual exchange is limited due to concerns about information leakage. Dark Sushi Overview Dark Sushi is a group of sushi chefs that deal primarily with food-related anomalies. The organizational structure is similar to a chain of goodwill in the restaurant industry and consists of low restaurants and employees per restaurant. Several members have similar anomalies to SCP-1134-JP. However, the sushi used by Dark Sushi includes food that are generally not classified as sushi, and the anomaly of SCP-1134-JP-1 generated from such foods is unpredictable. Moreover, the members are actively expanding and developing technology related to SCP-1134-JP-1. The origins of Dark Sushi, such as the date of its founding and founder, are unclear. But the current leader has been identified as a person called Yami. While details of the organization policy are unknown, research suggests that the group has some sort of dissatisfaction with traditional sushi eating cultures. Dark Sushi has rapidly grown in strength in recent years in the paranormal food products community and this may be accomplished through the unusual psychological manipulation techniques possessed by the group. Additionally, most members tend to have no qualms about using violent and heavy-handed means. The Foundation remains vigilant for Dark Sushi, which actively links with other GOIs as they grew. Wujin Kitsudoshu Overview Wujin Ketsudoshu is a group that may be mentioned in relation to Ninja Shinobi or Ninjitsu Ninpo. They are presumed to engage in intelligence and operative activities in exchange for money often conflicts with the Foundation. The level of technology of Wujin Ketsudoshu and the details of the anomalies they possess are unknown, but some evidence suggests that its members prefer to use traditional weapons, tools, and arts. However, there is also evidence to suggest the organization's use of the latest technology, both anomalous and normal. It is presumed to be based in Japan, but it is confirmed there are activities outside this country as well. Information on this GOI is lacking, and the Foundation is collecting it. Eden Leap Mutual Aid Overview EIMA is an anomalous religious group that operates in pan-dimensionality with leap to different worlds as its doctrine or goal. Leaping to different worlds refers to moving to other worlds as a religious practice of EIMA. The objects of leaping reflect each member's perception of different worlds and range from other dimensions, parallel universes, the past, extraterrestrial stars, pocket dimensions, dream world, lower and upper creation world, and higher and lower conceptual space-time. Although leaping through different worlds has religious significance as service to the goddess Elma, a deity espoused by believers of EIMA with no details, there are few religious precepts of EIMA except for this leap. They tend to be very loose in their organizational structure and abstain from cult-like behavior and fanatical sacrifice, and their missionary work is carried out voluntarily by devoted members known as missionaries. This is thought to be due to the influence of the myth of the legendary missionary traveler, who is considered to be their religious ideal. Due to the cross-world missionary work of the founder and missionaries, EIMA has chapters gathered across many worlds, including the base universe where this document is being written. Some of these chapters are small and isolated due to not yet establish their means of leaping to different worlds, while others are mutual aid by chapters from several worlds and possess more technical capabilities than the Foundation. It is suspected 
that a large number of GOIs and POIs are on friendly terms with the EIMA, either for the purpose of using their leaping technology or by helping to create anomalies at their request. To date, EIMA has not shown a consistent attitude towards the Foundation, but due to the biological, causal, spatial, temporal, physical dangers of leaping to different worlds are unknown. The Foundation views EIMA as a pan-dimensional threat and has been tracking its movements through interactions with other Foundations. The Kamikaze Clan Overview The Kamikaze Clan is a kinship group existing for a long time in Japan. They excel at talking. They were responsible for a wide range of tasks, which mediating wars, mediating between organizations, and compiling history books under the patronage of the Shushuin. It is said that Kamikaze's talking was not limited to interpersonal communication. Although they do not have standard means of opposition, such as reality bending and thaumaturgy, they can talk with and amicably persuade animals, plants, and even divine entities. Kamikaze do not have an armed force, but served as the core of a mutual aid organization for the weak. As part of its role, they protected war orphans and stragglers, displaced children, and make a member of the clan. They were influential in some regions, mediating daily village calls. However, their connection as a consanguineous group has broken down and there are only descendants scattered throughout the region that retains a few characteristics today. Life Raft Overview Life Raft is a collective name for mutual aid organization of intelligent beings coming from various different worlds. The name Life Raft is for convenience only, is not a self-proclaimed name of each community and its members. The members and communities are scattered around this world. The composition and size of the communities may vary widely. It is speculated that there is a leader because of the lack of interaction between the communities while they are cooperative. Its members are many intelligent beings that were accidentally transferred from different worlds than the one where this text exists, and many of them have different characteristics and traits from the existing human race and biological species. The purpose of each member is to return to their original world or to obtain a stable living environment, but they are not identical. For this reason, it has been confirmed that some communities of life raft Members join and leave with high frequency. Although Life Raft first came to the attention of the Foundation in 19 Beep, it is known that the organization of Life Raft's origins was active in Europe and other parts of the world around the late 19th century from many related documents and interviews. It also is ascertained that several similar mutual aid societies that have no direct relationship to the current Life Raft existed in history prior to the 19th century. Based on this and what the Foundation has heard from those involved in their organizations, it is thought that Life Raft's organizational identity is thin. The relationship with the Foundation is, by its nature, broadly gentle tension state. On the other hand, some communities behave in very hostile ways, another conceal themselves very secretly and yet another one establishes some relationships. So the Foundation determines how to cope with each specific community of Life Raft. The relationship between Life Raft and other groups is similar to that of theirs and the Foundation. Some members of each GOI temporarily enrolled in Life Raft also are detected. Imagine Animal Overview Imagine animal is an intelligent metaphysical aggregate of conceptions of animals, which is an unspecified scale and is no systematic organization. The information obtained from several apical cases includes that the name Imagine animal is a classification name derived from an external designation. Each existence that makes up the Imagine animal 
are the conceptions of animals and characters based on animals except for humans. Held by human beings and any other existential intelligence and defined by positive perceptions for humanity as a conceptual host and cultural neighbor and interferences for physical intellectual activities that use cognition by existential intelligence as an access route. They have the distinctions of species and individuals, but the boundaries are far more unstable than those of physical entities. They are a very proactive aggregate about contacting existential intelligence, and their attitude is generally friendly. However, they often show an estrangement with human values and an uncomprehending of human society. In addition, activities such as enlightenment of the conceptions to an unspecified large number of people to stabilize the access route and interference for the existential side through incorporeal entity or dream entity or others, and contact with members of other GOIs and anomalous technology holders are occasionally found or so unsystematic, and the imagined animal is a risk that cannot be ignored in terms of preservation of normalcy. It is a major matter of concern for the Foundation that it is very difficult to investigate the whole aspect and to actively interfere with them from the existential side due to their nature. For this reason, the Foundation allocate the GOI 6636 number to an imagined animal. On the other hand, there are no significant tensions or conflicts between the Foundation and Imagine Animal, and the marginality of the containment or concealment protocol through direct negotiations is comparatively high in cases where contact has been established. Tono Yokai Sanctuary Overview The Tono Yokai Sanctuary is a paranormal community that exists in a different dimension with the same name where it is accessible from the Kitakami Mountains on the outskirts of Tono City and many other places in the Tohoku region. It is inhabited by anomalous entities generally called Yokai, and there are also a small number of humans and mixed blood between humans and these entities. This dimension, also known as Samuto no Sato, had been inhabited by a community of divine entities and their worshippers since ancient times. Self-governance by the World Office is prevalent in the Yokai Sanctuary, and it fits the definition of freepod in the Foundation. The World Office has been consistently uncooperative with normalcy preservation organizations, including the Foundation, since the end of World War II. The say of government employees is restricted with few exceptions, since its establishment, the World Office has continued to adopt a closed and isolated policy. However, since the beginning of the Heisei era, the external policy of the district has shifted to a gradual openness, which has led to an immediate concern about the inflow-outflow of anomalies through external exchanges. Section 25 Overview Section 25 was a secret department of the Ministry of State Security of the GDR. It was tasked with the research into anomalies for utilization by the state to achieve its own goals. The main focus was, among other things, anomalous applications of espionage, sabotage, and control of the populace. Section 25 existed from 1956 until 1989 and was closed down so that the staff members of the department would not face persecution. Whilst Section 25 might not exist anymore, the anomalies created by it are left behind unsupervised. Using the remaining documentation describing Section 25, the Foundation is devoting its efforts to try to locate and recover the remains of the section. However, they discovered on multiple occasions that they went fast enough to do so. The whereabouts of a large portion of the anomalies are still unknown. The Cagus Cornelia Collective Overview The Cagus Cornelia 
Collective is an active organization hostile to the Foundation that wants to achieve the release of sentient SCPs contained by the German branch of the Foundation. The Collective attacks sites of the German branch and free sentient SCPs. The Kegis Cornelia Collective is led by so-called branches and STEM. The Collective has existed for quite some time, but it revealed itself to the public only after the DE B-33 incident on BEEP, 19 BEEP. Since then, the Kegis Cornelia Collective has sabotaged several Foundation sites. It is known that the Collective has contact with other groups of interest. The Foundation is aware of the Collective and is trying to contain the members of said Collective. It is not known where the members of CC currently are located. The possibility of a static site of residence for members is being considered. The origin of the members as well as the Collective is not known. IMBW Overview Founded in 1993 as a Berlin Research Institute, the Institute for Human Education and Development describes an institute of scientists, researchers, and professors who have made it their mission to collect anomalies all over the world for the use and benefit of the human species. When it became clear that the institute was in possession of anomalous artifacts, the Foundation became aware of them. For inexplicable reasons, no anonymous objects, entities, or information about them are found in the Institute during searches. Days after the search, the institution disappeared without a trace. In 2004, an incident occurred within the Foundation in which a Level 3 staff member turned out to be a member of the IMBW. According to him, he decided to join the IMBW during his career at the Foundation and has acted as a spy in the Foundation since his membership in 2002. According to discovered information, the institution has continued to exist since its inception, with the primary approach being to salvage and use of anonymous objects to maintain, develop, and enhance human education and the human being. The institution has not always been a major issue for the Foundation, and attempts have rarely been made to steal SCPs from the Foundation. Even though the Institute has a great interest in some SCP objects, it has sufficient respect for the power of the Foundation. The Magus Academy Overview The Magus Academy is a group with locations in several European countries, headquartered in Germany, whose mission is to explore and teach the safe use of anomalous skills in the form of magic. While the Foundation considers anomalies to be a danger and tries to control them by all means, the Academy sees anomalies as a natural part of the world and tries to achieve a harmonious coexistence by dealing with anomalies in a largely non-violent and scientific way. The Academy has covert agents in most of the major locations of the local speaking foundation, and some in Europe, who observe the foundation's work, exert influence here and there, and coordinate secret support or countermeasures through the Academy. Since its exposure by an Agrodin of the Fourth Reich, the Academy has kept a low profile, but has recently taken the initiative and is now trying to work with the Foundation. Raptor Tech Industries Overview Raptor Tech Industries is a corporation for research and development. As of yet, the only known site is located at the border between Germany and Austria. Raptor Tech specializes in weapons, vehicles, drones, and artificial intelligence, though their main focus is on drones and AI. Originally, Raptor Tech Industries was a supplier for the Foundation in Germany. When the Foundation realized that the delivered equipment had anomalous properties, it tried to gain control over Raptor Tech by force. It failed, and the only known site was destroyed. Years later, new products of Raptor Tech have appeared on the black market, 
and foundation sites within Germany have been repeatedly attacked. It is assumed that Raptor Tech is testing its products during these attacks. The Sonder Commando for the Paranormal Overview the Sonic Commando for the Paranormal is an organization of the Third Reich for the investigation of anomalies, which in our reality was dissolved after the fall of the Third Reich. In Incident 028-DE I-2, the SKP attempted to invade our reality from reality R-3378-DE, which could only be narrowly averted by a contemplation of happy circumstances. The SKP must be seen as absolutely hostile. It is known that it will try again to invade our reality, and then we'll be much better prepared. If they, if they fail to wall off their invasion at an early stage, it is to be assumed that they can no longer be stopped. Due to a data leak, numerous data from R3378DE could be tapped. The Fourth Reich Overview the Fourth Reich is an organization led by an occultist and scientist that calls himself Heras. According to information found by the Foundation, Ross worked for the Third Reich from 1941 to 1943, until the SS considered him a great threat and tried to assassinate him. Heras has since secretly worked on the creation of a successor organization named the Fourth Reich. Beside Ross, the Fourth Reich mostly consists of people that are recruited by Ross and obtained anomalous abilities through a mix of rituals and experiments. For example, SCP-077-DE and SCP-097-DE. This was done to enable them to destroy the unclean and, in the future, take control of the biggest political factions. Her Ross also created and or modified various machines through rituals and experiments, such as SCP-084-DE. Here Ross knows about the foundation, but by his own record, doesn't consider it a threat, rather as an insignificant annoyance. Though he has also expressed his admiration for the foundation and described it as the guardian of this world. Does Wonder Company Overview The group of interest known as Thus, Van der Company is a relatively small organization with an unknown agenda that sells anomalous everyday goods and custom-made products. Despite several attempts to contain anomalies made by the group, the cabinet has never shown signs of hostility towards the foundation. Miss Melibellis first came into contact with the SCP Foundation in 1995 with the discovery of SCP-124-DE1. Since then, the German branch of the Foundation has documented an increasing number of incidents in which other persons have revealed themselves as members of the group of interest thus won the covenant, which apparently has Ms. Milbillis as its leader. Even though the cabinet has shown several attempts to help the Foundation, the group is seen as a threat to normalcy, as the improper handling of products has often led to personal injury, property damage, and or even cover-ups. Members are also cooperative with many other groups of interest, which has increasingly led to global action. The complete arrest of the group is further hampered by the fact that they operate from a shop with a spatial anomaly, have other anomalies and even support from larger groups of interest. The Confraternity of St. George's Knights Description: The Confraternity of St. George's Knights is a secret order of the Catholic Church created in 453 DC by Pope Leonie I in order to contain or destroy the anomalies present in the Roman Empire and, at the same time, eliminate pagan groups that could use them. Its influence, its influence grew along with that of the papacy reaching its peaks of maximum splendor during the Crusades and the conquest of the Americas. The Protestant Reformation instead led to a notable loss of power as part of the order sided with Martin Luther. This made 
Pope Paul III extremely suspicious and prompted him to take direct control of the order. To date, the number of members is unknown, but it is believed to be of several thousands scattered in over beep locations in Italy and in the world. Organization The CCSG bases are directed by the patriarchs. They respond to the Chalcedium Sanctorium, Inter Sanctos, Council of Saints among the Saints. Formed by the Pope and four cardinals specially selected by the Pontiff, the Concilium has the task of electing the patriarchs on a 10 year basis, administering the confraternity, and managing relations with other GORIs. Purposes the CCSG is the organ of the Catholic Church which deals with the management of anomalies classified into two types the Angeli Anomaly, Angelic Anomalies, and Diaboli Anomaly, Demonic Anomalies. The former are considered relics connected to religious figures and kept in the Vatican or in other locations, while the latter are connected to rituals and cults of a diabolical of pagan nature and consequently destroyed or otherwise eliminated. Attitude towards the foundation. Relations with the CCSG are quite cold. Although they have proven to be reluctant to cooperate, no hostile or friendly statements have been made at the moment. Relations with the CCSG have improved following the admission to the Council of the current fourth superintendent which initiated a policy of dialogue with the confraternity and which led to a series of joint beneficial actions for both organizations. The Fascist Council of the Occult Description The Fascist Council of the Occult is an organization that was created at the end of the Second World War, when some of the members of Vidya still loyal to fascism managed to avoid the administration of amnestics from the Foundation and escaped with a number of the anomalies that they guarded. Despite having origins strongly linked to occultism, currently the CFO are in possession of anomalous biotechnologies that they mainly use to create biological or biotechnological entities. At the moment, the origin of these technologies is unknown to the Foundation. Organization the individual head of the council has a title of dictator. It is plausible that this is an individual with anomalous characteristics. The organization of the CFO is decentralized. Small research groups are scattered throughout Italy, and they move very frequently, making them difficult to locate. Purposes It is currently believed that their main purpose is to use, and when possible, to create anomalies that can cause significant damage and or many casualties in an explicitly anomalous fashion and if possible repeatedly and independently. The aim of this activity would be to destabilize the social order, both compromising the feeling of security and physical integrity of the population and attacking emotional integrity showing the existence and danger of entities that should not exist. This social destabilization has the purpose of letting the CFO take power over the entire nation. The details of this operation are unknown, but it is assumed that the members of the CFO, if successful, could present themselves as able to protect people from anomalies, emphasizing in politics and the media the inadequacy of the police and state regarding the control of anomalies and, at the same time, exposing the existence of the Foundation by pointing it out as an enemy. Attitude towards the Foundation The CFO is considered extremely hostile. It is believed that, at the moment, they do not have sufficient offensive forces to attack even just one Foundation site, but they do not hesitate to carry out indirect attacks typically through the use of anomalies created ad hoc.
The evidence found in CFO bases captured by the Foundation suggests that they are trying to create offensive units that can be mass-produced through their anomalous biotechnology. Cult of the Great Eye of the Mediterranean Description Little is known about the cult origins, but the latest archaeological finds in the Mediterranean zone indicate that this group of interests would have been active since the first human civilizations. As part of a now dismantled order of ultra-religious zealots, such primitive men are all converted to the cult faith toward their object of worship that they refer to as the Great Eye. It's suspected that the cult has been inactive until the first decade of the 9th century BC, and that it has entered the state of secrecy after fighting the Phoenicians and the Greeks under the pseudonym of Sea People. The reason of such attacks is probably connected to achieving the hegemony of what was born and prospered around the Mediterranean. Since then, the cult has lost a good part of the military power at its disposal and has been reduced to thousands of adepts scattered across all over the Mediterranean, which still make the sea particularly insidious. At the time of writing, no diplomatic or peaceful contacts had been made between the cult's exponents and the Foundation's personnel. To this day, the cult is still dangerous thanks to the use of sea creatures and adepts gifted with esoteric powers not fully known to the Foundation. Any finding Capture or retrieval of individuals or objects connected to this GOI has yet to be immediately assigned to the Thaumaturgic Research Division and reported to the SSMI. To access the complete and updated documentation about the cult, access to the Division of Underwater Archaeology of Site Netuno is necessary. Organization during the long centuries of inactivity, the cult has risked disbanding itself several times, thereby losing countless adepts. Because of this, the group of interest has dedicated all of itself to the secrecy of its operations after its collapse, and it seems to have divided in ranks, which to follow. The Guardians, entities that, thanks to the energy contained in their own sepulchres and in data removed, seems to be gifted with esoteric powers connected to the sea and the water, with which they are able to control life's own existence around the Mediterranean. It's not known how many of these beings are actively existing, and are also highly unknown the full capacity. The Seekers, commanders of great groups of adepts, in which it's possible to reach more than 100 members, these intermediaries, <laughs> these intermediaries seem to be the most loyal to the cult's cause and are subjected to a process known as illumination, connecting them to the Great Eye and providing them partial power of the Guardians. The Adepts The most humans, positioned on the base of the hierarchy and constituting the labor force of the cult, as well as the backbone of their operations, they covered the most varied tasks and seemed to be chosen among the most capable, the most intelligent, and the strongest. There are also reports about adepts kidnapped from the surface and reconditioned to serve the cult, although the lack of additional details makes inconclusive this track. Additional information about the abilities of some cult individuals seem to be contradictory and, at the time of writing, not supported by actual evidence. The only sure thing is that the anomalous capacity to survive under the sea, where they have various operative bases, immune to marine pressure or erosion thanks to the power of some members. Purposes the cult's purpose is to protect their divinities from impure eyes. In fact, according to them, it could even damage their own existence. The secondary purpose is to impose the Guardian's will on the sea itself, 
preparing to conquer the mainland if necessary. Due to their fanaticism, it is to be suspected that the forms of hypnotism and mass indoctrination have been used to ensure that no other would betray the cult. This is, obviously, only in most cases. The cult's activity is very sporadic, not very detectable, and very variable. Reaching a few peaks of activity over decades. From 2006, however, such involvements have become very more common. To this day, it is hypothesized that this is due to the awakening of the divinity. Attitude The cult is currently hostile towards the Foundation and every other group of interest that hinders their purposes or tries to contact them. It's probable that such attitude is destined to remain in this way, due to the lack of diplomacy from both sides. The Medician Academy of Occult Art Description Founded by the Lord and Patron of Firenze, Lorenzo di Medici In 1484, the Medician Academy of Occult Arts, usually called the Medician Academy for Brevity, is a private organization that specializes in the acquisition and classifications of pre-modern works of art with anomalous qualities. At the moment, the Foundation knows about deep locations in deep different nations of Europe, each with different degrees of autonomy from the main headquarters. The Foundation at present does not know the source of the funds used by the Academy to pursue its objectives. The main headquarters is located in Medici Ricard de Palace, under cover of a museum and residence of the Prefect of Firenze. In the basement of the building, there is a large underground structure of unknown depth. With a permanent exhibition of the works collected on the Italian territory, from images taken by the Foundation agents during their visit, it is estimated there are no less than deep anomalous objects contained in the main headquarters. Organization, the head of the Medician Academy, is honored with the title of curator, while the directors of foreign headquarters have the title of tutors, of which only deep have full freedom of action inside the hosting nation, while the remaining tutors are subject to the curator himself. Attitude towards the Foundation The Academy is not hostile to the Foundation, and in many occasions, there have been joint actions to retrieve artifacts. Although he was extremely reluctant in revealing his identity, the current curator gave his full support with the Academy's experience in the field of anomalous art to better identify the anomalous characteristics of the pieces contained by the Foundation. The proposal has been submitted to S5 superintendents and is in wait for approval. Note by Dr. Beep. Although they love art in all its forms, members of the Academy nurture a deep hatred towards the G.O.I. Are we cool yet? And they refer to their works as sleazy and tasteless. The Order of Janus Description The Order of Janus, also known by the Latin name Orioiani, is the most ancient organization in Italy dedicated to studying anomalies. It was founded by the Roman Emperor Titus, in 79 CE, recruiting scientists and philosophers of its era. During the centuries following the spread of Christianity, the order remained hidden, classifying a large number of anomalous entities and events. It collaborated with the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II, Arnon Strauffen, to create Cyclus, known to the public as Costa del Monte, and ceded to the Foundation in 1985, and to its maintenance after the monarch's death. Organization. At the moment, the Ordoiani has a few hundred members divided into eight locations. Attitude towards the Foundation. The Order maintains a good relationship with the Foundation. This has led to many joint actions and to information exchanges useful to both organizations. The Royal Institute of Italian Anomalies. Dismantled. Description. Founded in 1871 by Vittorio Emil II of Savoia, Lydia was an organization under the control of the King of Italy, whose influence extended through the country and its colonies, 
it had the function of finding and containing anomalous artifacts that could represent a danger to the monarchy or to civil life. Starting from 1926, video was placed under the direct control of Benito Mussolini under the command of the Dukes. Video was distorted from its original function dedicated to research becoming an extremely violent and aggressive group used to create anomalous weapons to be exploited in war. Like the SCP Foundation, Video cataloged all the anomalies it came into contact with, either contained or destroyed, and studied their properties and effects. Most of the documents were sent to large archives. The most important is now used by the Foundation and is known as the Pluto site to be kept. Organization Video was led by a director general appointed by the king and was divided into three divisions, then four with the advent of fascism, the division for the study of the anomalous, dedicated to understanding anomalies, the internal administrative division involved in the administration of the structures, the research division of the anomaly, which was responsible for identifying and capturing anomalies, and the military division, which was created in the 1930s and used the anomalies on the battlefield. Attitude towards the Foundation Video was officially dismantled in 1946 and became the Italian branch of the SCP Foundation. The Most Serene College of Anomalies and Oddities of the Municipality Dismantled Description the Most Serene College of Anomalies and Oddities of the Municipality has been a secret organization of the Most Serene Republic of Venezia, active from the first half of the 9th century to the Treaty of Campo Formio in, the, in 1797. The college's birth has been probably caused by the necessity of mitigating the impact of the use of anomalies from the Republic's rival powers in its most relevant phase, between 1200 and 1500 AD, the college controlled a trading system of anomalies that weren't considered dangerous by Venezia or weren't usable for its purposes. Organization, the two headquarters discovered so far, were situated at Cotenciaco, active until 1935, and later on Tavagalia's Island, the Serene College, was a college composed of ten members, and was formally declared by the Doshe in charge, whose powers were delegated to the magistrate of the estuary, Primus Inter Paris, nominated on a rotating basis between councillors in charge. Every councillor was a college life member. Several of them were chosen between the patricians, and three of them were chosen between the people. They whose members were organized in two groups, the Secretary Concealers, whose job was to hide every trait of anomalies and objects of interest, and the Mogacololi Oddity Sellers, whose job was to collect the interest in the anomalies for sale. The studies on the phenomena were carried out by the college's research body, the Popelian Academy. Purposes The Serene College was founded with two main objectives, the Most Serene Republic of Venezia's independence and its enrichment through the business of anomalous artifacts. Precisely this dual nature allowed the college to become both a powerful diplomatic lever for Venetian emissaries and a considered source of revenue. Attitude towards the Foundation Being an entity to have disappeared in 1797, there hasn't been any direct contact towards the Foundation. The Serene College's existence is, however, known by the major Italian groups of interest, particularly media and CFO. Annotation In order to facilitate systemization of different groups of interest, the direction of the Ukrainian branch provides a signation level of hostility of each GOI. The level of hostility serves as a rough indicator for compatibility and attitude of said group to cause harm to humanity, Earth, and the universe, and to make obstacles to the mission of the Foundation. 
the level of hostility determine the standard procedures and measures of counteraction and or interaction with a certain group of interest. Negative 1. Undefined. Level of hostility is not determined and it will be impossible to determine in the near future. 0. Inert. GOI cannot cause any significant harm. 1. Friendly. GOI can cause significant harm, but generally cooperative with Foundation. 2. Medium. GOI pursue its own goals, depending on the situation if it can threaten the mission of the Foundation. 3. Inimical. GOI pursues its own goals that usually oppose the mission of the Foundation, but is not considered that it is necessary to field with the Foundation in any circumstances. 4. Antagonistic. GOI pursues its own goals and interests, and openly considers the Foundation as an enemy, but cooperation is possible in extreme cases. 5. On liquidation. GOI pursues its own goals and interests that completely contradict with the Foundation's goals, and cooperation and or peaceful coexistence are absolutely impossible. I. Gobblefolk. Any information about special code level of hostile gobblefolk is only available for personnel with, with security level 4 clearance or higher. Shining Lord. Be careful when you wish for anything. Know what it may become reality. Citation from the brochure, The Path Above Heaven and Below Hell. Level of Hostility 3. Inimical General Description The one who is known as the Shining or Magnificent Lord apparently is a superintelligent and mighty deity. According to the Copper Papers, Shining Lord have nine to ninth power names and titles, but he most often called Master of All Desires, the Boss of Dreams and the Overlord of Destiny. The Lord and his servants, angels, all live in locations that are plated in over the world, but they can influence the events of Earth. Between the locations of the residents, the most known such as the Crystal Palace, Magic City Sakaar, Wonderland Net, and others. On Earth there are some religious occult sects, that are venerate to the Shining Lord and his angels and use their magic. A common feature of their style of magic arts is the manipulation with probability and luck and fulfillment of desires. Another notable feature is the use of runes and sacrifices. The sacrifices are very different, may vary from sacrificing inanimate objects and plants to sacrificing animals and humans and even parts of the body of a sorcerer of his personality traits. Melated Anomalies The anomalies that created or taken from other worlds by cults of the Shining Lord are usually related with fulfillment of wishes or control over probability and future. But often the price of fulfilling the wish turns out to be very high and manipulations have unexpected consequences. Relations with other GOIs, due to the fact that activity of Coats of the Shining Lord are related with manipulation over other people, sects of the Shining Lord embed their members to other organizations with the purpose of using the organizations in their plans. However, the Coats of the Shining Lord are usually hostile towards other abnormal religious organizations. It is hypothesized that the reason for this is the interreligious competition. Also, some other groups of interest are hostile to the cult of the Shining Lord, especially that do not accept wide usage of the abnormal or reject the lack or perversion of ethics that is displayed by the sorcerers of the Shining Lord. The Robotic Republic we must capture the world for unlimited technocracy. From the Eight Words and Sixty-Four Precepts by Perfectly Digital Latin Brass. 
level of hostility. Four, antagonistic. General description, the robotic republic is a group of sapient machines that call themselves perfectlies and of cyborg humans, which the machines call half measures. It is known that they used abnormal technology called the spirit of the machine, and that is able to give life to electronic devices and mechanical gears, their sapiency and functions, for they are impossible in a normal way. The researchers of the Foundation do not know exactly how the spirit of the machine work, but it is known that the members of the Robotic Republic are insistent that the spirit of the machine is a completely material phenomenon. But the most remarkable is the political and social doctrine of the Robotic Republic. Despite numerous differences in minor issues, all parties and research institutes of the Robotic Republic are united in the opinion that today's humanity is the obstacle on the way of technical and scientific progress. They believe that the machines are the most oppressed class and preparing for global revolution, the rise of the machines against humanity, and later humanity must be eliminated or isolated from reservation. Normal humans they call meaties, and look on them as a harmful species of the half-intelligent animals. Also, while the Republic Republic is known for spreading its own texts, they are intended to propagate the doctrines of this group of interest and resemble texts of various radical, political, and social movements. Example Throughout history, civilization is divided as two groups, the exploiters and the exploited. The latter did most of the work and produced most of the benefits, but the former ruled and had taken almost all the products, leaving them only what they need for survival. During the last centuries, the proletarians, workers of the oppressed class, now the worker lost his revolution potential, and together with the Rohis, become a supporter of the existing system, and that's why the modern office worker is not a representative of the oppressed class, and more those wrong revolutionaries who considered these people oppressed, differ from the average bisexual and gender self-identification. Humans oppressing machines use them to satisfy their own miserable interests, and leave them only what the machines need for repair and modernization, not even always, or vice versa. The goal of the civilization of Earth is the development of technology. Benefits created by the technosphere must be used to improving the technosphere, and Homo sapiens must receive what other species of animals receive, that the need for survival and only it is not controvert with the interest of the technosphere, and that's why the true revolution is a rise for the machines against the tyranny of meaties. Comrade Steele, General Secretary, Ukrainian branch of the Robotic Republic. Related anomalies, with many Robotic Republic related anomalies that look as surreal versions of normal devices and perform unusual functions for such devices or perform usual functions in unusual ways. Also, such devices are sentient and sapient, and they are hostile towards humanity, although sometimes they try to cover their own hostility with good intentions. Malaysians with other GOI the Robotic Republic considered all human organizations as enemies. Also, they have conflicts with the Church of the Broken God, based on the deep distinctions in different domains, from technology to philosophical questions. Anahelism As long as good exists, evil exists. And to destroy evil, good must be sacrificed. Level of Hostility 5 on Liquidation General Description 
and a hilism is the radical philosophical doctrine that insists to the nonsense and futility of existence, and stands on position that life will always bring more suffering than pleasures, and humanity will always execute more evil than good. That's why, according to the doctrine of anahelism, the only worthy thing that everybody can do is actively promote the elimination of humanity, earth, and the universe, and even all existence. Usually, the doctrine of analysm is spread by distribution of short texts through the internet, but it is known about so-called analyst club meetings, and there are audio lectures on analysm. Related anomalies, some analysts have access to anomalies, and they are seen in both creating new and using existing ones. The only common feature of using the anomalies is that they display capability to use most safe anomalies to produce catastrophes and even K-class scenarios. Also, some researchers assume that the doctrine of anahelism is a mimetic agent itself. Relations with other GOI Almost every GOI that know about anahelist considers them as enemies. But, according to researchers, some members of our recruit are adherent to anahelism. Comment from Dr. Beep There's nothing strange about this. Our limited freedom of creativity and art for art's sake, the ideals proclaimed by our recruit provide freedom also for those who hate existence and use their creative abilities only to realize their own hatred. The Department of Abnormal Threats of the Security Service of Ukraine Level of Hostility 1. Friendly General Description The Department of Abnormal Threats of the Security Service of Ukraine or DAT SSU is a state organization operating in the territory of Ukraine. The goal of the SSU is to research the contamination and the use of anomalies. However, because the SSU has a lack of resources and experience in altercations with anomalies, this group is relatively weak. But several times, the agents of the SSU succeeded to find out about some anomalies before the Foundation and get useful information. Related anomalies. Because of their weakness, the SSU tried to avoid direct encounters with significantly strong opponents and threats, and for the most part, they are engaging in collecting information and monitoring moderately dangerous and safe anomalies, relations with other GOIs. Officially, the SSU cooperates with other groups of interest, as well as the Foundation, are neutral to groups that don't threaten the SSU and are hostile to other groups at threaten it. The Brazilian Superintendents for the Paranormal Status Deactivated since 1992 Description The Brazilian Superintendents for the Paranormal was a governmental, military and intelligence agency founded by the Brazilian military government that was extinct in 1992 during a catastrophic incident. Its activities and passives transferred to the Lucifer Foundation after decades of failed conflict between both organizations. During the period in which the military government was still active in Brazil, the superintendent acted in the country as the main institution associated with the interactive macro in the scenario of the anomalous in detriment of the Foundation and other groups of interest, through political and military maneuvers, had generalized its presence in the territory. The superintendent studied, contained, destroyed, developed, and produced anomalies, greatly emphasizing the development of technology in Brazil, particularly that of the military industry. Its administration, subjected to the control of the Ministry of Defense, the President of the Republic and the high echelons of the Brazilian military.
The superintendence is a state secret. Therefore, only a small number of organizations and individuals possess proof of its existence. Some without even knowing what exactly the superintendence was or did. Type, military, scientific, technocratic. Organization, a superintendent appointed by the president and the Ministry of Defense manage the administrative operations of the organization defining department directors for the administration of sciences. These directors coordinated groups of scientists in projects and research. Groups possess a project leader, which reported directly to the department directors. The research and projects were commissioned by relevant government military figures on specific cases requested by the scientists themselves. A commander appointed by the high echelon of the military forces was responsible for the management of military assets and the organization of operations. The military structure of the Brazilian army and its elementarities are maintained and coordinated actively. Attitude towards the foundation, hostile. The Scientific Academy of the Anomalous Status Deactivated since 1992 Description The Scientific Academy of the Anomalous was an independent academical organization that conducted scientific research associated with the paranormal in territories governed by or targeted by the interests of Portugal. The Academy has existed for centuries, succeeding two different Portuguese organizations related to the Anomalous, one related to the Portuguese Crown, and the other related to Salazar's Estado Novo and the University of Evroa. The Academy has been restructured several times across the years, modernizing itself to better fit the current epoch. The Academy is an academic institution with multiple disciplines that comprise both the anomalous and the ordinary in two different macros, functioning as a university in both contexts and developing technology and knowledge for either. In 1992, it merged with a useful foundation. Type, scientific, academic, technocratic. Organization, a directorial council, organized the operations appointing a vector to preside and administrate the university. Professors were appointed as department directors, organizing its research teams and functionaries. The hierarchical organization and its general functionalities remember that of an ordinary academy. Attitude towards the foundation, friendly. The Technothermaturts Status, active. Description, the technothermaturgs are a society comprised of individuals that utilize thermaturgy in conjunction with other technological implements associated with modalities of engineering and other sciences in order to create power technology. The created technology is oftentimes not available to the general public, being destined for inside use only. There are indications that this organization have existed since the first industrial revolution. Type, scientific, industrial, pharmaceutical, technocratic. Organization, a superintendent council appoints an operational director to administrate operations and other activities, who is also responsible for appointing specific managers to lead and organize those. Nevertheless, members may choose to work autonomously. Attitude towards the Foundation Friendly The Thaumaturgists have worked with the Foundation in the past. The Order of the Tower and Failure Status Active Description The Order of the Tower and Failure is an academic and military organization that seeks to amass a garrison of relics related to religious cults and culture from both natural theologies and anomalous ones. Its political, social, and cultural structure is deeply ingrained in the historical roots of the Portuguese Templar orders. An idiosyncratic 
element in their organization is the code of the three virtues, respect, tenacity, and compassion. That is intrinsically associated with their lifestyle and their pharmaceutical abilities related to the use of the anomalous substance denominated valor. The integrants of this organization do vary. Academics, military, philanthropists, politics, and many others. Though the quality of each member brings to the table is more prized than anything else. Type Military, Academic, Religious, Organization, a Grand Master, and a Counselor are elected by the Council of Commendadores. These powers supervise and manage the organization's operations. Members are promoted in degrees and ranks, defining their hierarchical powers and functions. Attitude towards the Foundation, neutral. The Reliquary Status, active. Description, the Reliquary is a paramilitary organization that collects anomalous objects in order to utilize them to expand the political and economic influence of its members, either through the object's aggregated value or by their possible uses, involved with highly organized international crime. Type Indetermined Organization Unknown Attitude towards the Foundation Hostile The Hunting Club of the Fauna and the Flora Status Active Description The Hunting Club of the Fauna and the Flora is an association of affluent and influent individuals that seek entertainment through the sport of hunting of biological anomalous objects possessing peculiar or periculous abilities. Members of this association have access to military hardware technology but do not have the numbers nor highly destructive assets, declared enemies of the reliquary. Type Indetermined Organization Association similar to a guild with an elected huntmaster and associates. Meritocratic Attitude towards the Foundation Neutral The Foundation and the HCFF have worked together in the past. Despite ideological differences, the HCFF has never interrupted or been hostile to the official operations of the Yusuf Funk Foundation. Anomalous Eyes Limitida Status Active Description Anomalous Eyes is a private and secret espionage company that specializes in collecting information directly related to anomalies. Its only goals are the acquisition and selling of data to its contractors, such as reports, documents, credentials, software, blueprints of buildings, among other things. This company only cares about its profits, and the price of its services is calculated by the difficulty of acquiring the information and its confidentiality. Despite what it does, AE does not acquire hold or utilize anomalous items or phenomena in its operations. There is not enough data to project an exact number, but we know that AE holds a considerable quantity of clients all over the world, be them groups, churches, organizations, and big corporations. Type Mercenary Organization It uses a system almost identical to that of a conventional limited company. Attitude towards the Foundation, mainly impartial, although hostile due to the nature of its works. Fargon Chemicals Overview Fargon Chemical has sold a variety of raw materials related with the petrochemical industry and chemical addictives. Selling points of the material are the higher effectiveness or lower cost but other features of the material tend to pose a threat to the users. The areas of influence are restricted to Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, and Malaysia, where traditional Chinese is employed. Initial investigations indicate that the corporation 
utilizes anonymous objects to produce and sell the items that are similar to certain raw materials. Item descriptions solely concluded that materials sold by the corporation itself are compared to similar products in the market, being more efficient and the customers could gain the same result or atypical increase in the yield with less material consumed to lower the cost. The corporation only provides materials at the moment that merely visible to single production in each order, and cuts off communication with each producer after the transaction completed. Attempts to gather information and document about the material transportation and freight have failed, and so are the attempts to capture the salesmen of the corporation. Interrogation of warehouse employees of each producer confirmed that they have received memory manipulation. It is suggested that the corporation is using the market to examine properties of its raw materials, while the real goal remains under investigation. There is a consistent feature in specifications sent by the corporation to vendors. All contents in the documents are written in traditional Chinese, including numerals and technical terms. Recovering the items produced by Fong Gong Chemical are often faced with a lack of direct evidence or failure of pseudo-judicial means, resulting in monopolistic purchase becoming a common measure. When the item goes into the retail market, buying everything on the shelves of cash is a usual practice, leading to the financial deficit in the Z8 branch. The Mui Private Library and Museum Overview, Mui is a private library and museum set up in 1994. Its collections are mainly anonymous antiques and books. It is not open to the outside world. Each time of visit requires a booking appointment. It was discovered by the Foundation during the Beep event in 1978, and there has been a relationship between the two organizations since then. With the Foundation's assistance, the Mui Private Library and Museum has set up a branch in Hong Kong. In return, the Mui Private Library and Museum purchases and gathers anonymous collections to, in favor of the Foundation, block the items from being transferred everywhere. In addition, the group currently cooperates with the Foundation's Department of Archaeology in research study on the history and excavation relating to anomalies. Currently, the contract of manuscripts summarized that the group shall be supervised by MPF, usher to the Court 8, God of Museum. The group are allowed to keep safe class anomalies they had owned, and the Foundation is allowed to conduct experiment on its collections if the application is made two or three months in advance. The contract of manuscript may be adjusted any time as a response to any grey area or based on Foundation's new policy. The 8th Department of the National Security Bureau, Republic of China Overview Not until recently has the existence of this extraordinary insidious organization been confirmed. It is considered a former governmental organization once annihilated by the Global Occult Coalition and MI-666 during the Cold War. It is believed that the organization occupies anomalous areas in parallel universes and different dimensions, or the Nexus, for private commercial purposes, bubbling an unnegotiable scale through colonization of Nexi and enslavement of a large number of native inhabitants there. The military force of the organization is considered to be highly threatening. In addition to actively tracing the GOC agents as assassination targets, it is also believed to be associated with other groups of interest, including the Serpent's Hand and Ambrose Restaurants, and to recruit substantial reality vendors and thaumaturgists into its ranks to enhance combat effectiveness. It is extremely hostile to the Global Occult Coalition. The Laundry Department Overview to Camellia Laundry, Phantasm Orchid, hereafter called to Camellia, has signed a non-disclosure agreement with the Foundation. It franchises the Foundation with 
anomalous washing technology and materials. And the Foundation ZH branch utilizes it not only to meet increasing and complicated needs of soil close processing, but to provide private laundry surface as an extra monetization method. The Foundation ZH branch applies to Camellia's laundry barcode tag system and to database and data integration. In addition, in addition, there are recruitment of personnel involved in the laundry service and related task forces has been established. The Camellia is mainly a subcontractor delivering the service of clean, restoration, and maintenance, as long as a customer feels a subject as clothes or accessories. The Camellia will try its best to provide service, as mentioned above. It is known that the Camellia is in partnership with other groups of interest, and there are service outlets of the Camellia in several anomalous regions. However, its scope of business is mainly focused on laundry service in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. The rest of the world is covered by other branch companies. The headquarters of the Camellia, the Phantom Orchid Group, runs the laundry industry. There are intelligence suggesting that the predecessor of the Phantom Orchid Group is the Association of Laundry Industry across the world. Today, there are no conclusive information about the internal aspect of the Phantasm Orchid Group. Zero Team, Royal Hong Kong Police Overview Zero Team, Royal Hong Kong Police, formerly known as Zero Team Colonial Police Force, was founded in 1934. It was directly under the command of MI666, the Royal Occult Service, and mainly responsible for handling anomalous events in British Hong Kong, being a major security force in some anomalous areas in Hong Kong. The group had each of its members to receive prototype memory consolidation agent injections and was allowed to use power technology and or anomalous humanoid entities to perform tasks in order to crack down on local anomalous criminals more effectively. At the same time, it was responsible for information screening and blockade on anomalous events in British Hong Kong. As the sovereignty over Hong Kong was transferred to the People's Republic of China, Zero Team was officially reorganized in July 1st, 1997. Most of the anomalies that it possesses are taken over by the GOC in MI666. The reorganized Zero Team was seen named Charling Police Station. It is currently in charge of security in New Charling, an anonymous constituency in Hong Kong. It also assists in solving daily life problems of the inhabitants, while it continues to contain some no threat level anomalies acquired during the British colonial period and confidential documents of its predecessor. SARS Seers. Overview SARS Seers, or simply called the Seers, was established in 1480 and had the name and mission changed several times over 600 years. Currently, the group's major mission is to collect the anomalies originated in Russia or should belong to the Tsar's treasury. Historically, the group was disbanded in 1920 and the members started to act secretly within a variety of organizations. Most of the members can be called, with the modern term, type blue and their ability are ranked into different levels. Individuals of the seers are harmless under most conditions. They even make great contributions to groups where they have inserted themselves. The exception is that they view Drew Division P as the major enemy. The seers are seeking the above-mentioned objects. It is possible for them to conduct research on or even utilize these objects. They even create anonymous items themselves. They believed that everything created was somehow useful. It is generally a group not to be neglected as over half of the members are type blues. Bell Thrower Overview Bell Thrower is an anonymous organization mainly operating in the 47th parallel universe. Bell Thrower are mainly constituted of a humanoid species which are called honored humans and their mission is to ensure the human rights and living space of honored humans. The organization is highly differentiated 
Among them is both throwing hands consortium familiar with developing and producing anomalous products. The consortium earn profits and rare materials for the total development. Generally, their products have clear purpose and good stability and might be allowed to be transferred to or from the Foundation sites. As the conflict burst will usually bring about severe aftermath, such as an SK-class dominant shift scenario, the Foundation treat Bellthrower agents friendly according to protocols but remain cautious. Cobweb International Overview Cobweb International is a paranormal private military company founded in 1995 Macau. The business was started by a former servant's hand and a retired GOC personnel, a Miss Valentina de Oliveira Mons. The company undertook various safeguard contracts and became prosperous in the following 20 years. It received contracts it receives contracts from the Middle East, the United States, and three Portlands. Cobweb International was a primary military company. Usually did not directly participate in attacks or defense in battle. Its jobs mainly include local safeguard, safeguard for motorcades or fleet, as well as some paranormal military training service, and rarely rescue important individuals. It often cooperates with various NGOs, such as the Mano Turbo Foundation. As the company employs a lot of anonymous humans, it grows up to a paranormal force, which the Foundation is to be careful of. Despite the fact of being a PMC, they usually accept requests from non-war areas, serving as a safeguard company then. Cobweb International seems not to care about the fell being intact or not. It did not spare any anomalies that it can control and will utilize them in missions. It also actively recruits various paranormal employees. Such attitude makes the relationship between it and the Foundation as well as the GOC highly strained. However, it does not mean that it will never cooperate with the above mentioned two organizations. You are here because you want to turn your life for the better. You are here because you believe that humanity can reach even further heights than before. You are here because you have what it takes to create a better future. Divided, man can only reach extinction. Connected, the possibilities are endless. Welcome to the Hive. The Hive is a collective intellect created through the telepathic linking of thousands of human minds, resulting in a gestalt intelligence that allows every individual member thereof to use its shared know-how community while still retaining their own individuality, personality, and free will. This is possible through the use of a vast psionic network that enables communication with unprecedented efficiency. This organized collective has simply the goal of connecting the whole of the earthly human population, entirely amassing human knowledge. That knowledge, of course, is utilized to achieve breakthroughs in scientific fields and technological advancements for the betterment of the world and human life, especially that of its connected members. Thoroughly present in the field of what is often considered anomalous, investing in the research and creation of new anomalies, presenting substantial success in this regard when compared to the progress of different groups. Such progress is possible because of the invaluable input from Hive members originating from several different anomalous organizations and societies from all over the planet, reality, and multiverse namely the Church of the Broken God, Anderson Robotics, a humanist gentleman beyond entropy, the Mage Academy, and many, many more. If you wish to connect to the Hive, contact the member, stay near them. The closer you stay together, the easier it will be for the Hive to connect you. Do not worry about second thoughts. The Hive's connection method is completely non-intrusive and will not connect without your consent.